Uh, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon experience here. Last time, if my memory, if my memory isn't absolutely shot, we went on the Great Expedition uh, all the way to the Fire Island, and we fought Entei, <laughs> of which we just got hit with more, just like, because it's kind of interesting. Just as a little aside. Because technically, we do not know what is going on just yet. <laughs> Every other Mystery Dungeon game, by this point, it feels like we at least knew what-ish was going on. To a degree. Like, maybe with the exception of Gates to Infinity, because by now I think roughly... In Gates to Infinity, this is kind of when we went to try and save Muna, and then the twists happened. <laughs> but, like, in Rescue Team, like, oh, it's like, oh, there's a media, everything, everything is going to hell. In Explorers, oh, time is getting screwed up. Here, we have no idea. We have no idea what's going on. We don't know what's up with... The BHM, we don't know what's up with the Pokemon being turned to stone. We don't know what's up with Gabriel and his magical scarves that are apparently tied to a magical tree that is now being attacked by darkness. We have no idea what's been happening here. <laughs> questions within questions, mysteries within mysteries, and eventually we'll probably find the truth within the truth. Well, yeah, it's just, it's just utterly hilarious to me. Because, like, even with Gates to Infinity, the story felt more simple. Because it's just like, ah, we meet these characters, we solve their problems, something's going on. But, like, it was kind of low-key. Here, it's straight in your face. Things are going on. Those two Pokemon turned to stone as they flew across the sky and crashed into a forest. Entei, he's trying to do something but kind of not, and he threatened our lives. And again, kind of hilarious that... The Legendary is the only one that doesn't know what a child looks like, apparently, in this world. Everybody else presumes I'm a child. The basically god is just like, well, I guess I could kill you. I don't know. Things are crazy. And I have no idea what to expect. I have no idea what's going to happen. What are we going to do? Is Crocodile going to... Uh, go nihilist and attack us like a diet Muna? I don't know. <laughs> Are we going to be assaulted by another legendary? Then there's that thing again where we just got a, like a montage of legendaries apparently getting a challenge that's like, haha, I'm going to come and uh, turn you to stone. So I have no idea what's going on. I don't even know what to theorize. And again, no idea what's up with the BHM. We don't know what Mr. Nuzleaf's job is. We have no idea what's up on the Revelation Mountain. We don't know where the tree is. We don't know what's attacking it. And I almost forgot about the weird voice that said, ha ha ha, discontent is on the rise way, way back when we were still in school. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on or what even to theorize about. <laughs> This game does it pretty well, given most other games, you can kind of see where things are going easily. Like, who saw Dusk Noir and went, I can trust this man completely? Yeah, you never know. At least he wasn't, like, Dusk Noir, little bit of foreshadowing. I could see some people getting totally, like, caught off guard. But they were kind of a bit obvious a little bit with, I think, Grovile <laughs> being not totally evil, but who knows. My theory board is full. I, my theory board is empty because I have no idea what's going on. Like, again, Gabriel is an orphan left on Caracosta's doorstep wrapped in magical scarves that are tied to a magical tree. What even? <laughs> also got a drawing tablet. Huzzah! May you find much satisfaction within art. And I shall share again my art advice. Trade perfect for finished and analyze the imperfect product so that you can ever more just improve your skill. Have fun with art. Do not become me who suffers greatly. <laughs> we got a whole conspiracy board out. Because, mostly because we can conspiracy theorize. 
With the other games, everything was kind of linear to a degree. Like, oh, there are natural disasters. Hark. <laughs> the well, then again, I guess the Fugitive Arc kind of care out of came out of nowhere for a rescue team. But that was more of like a side thing and not like an actual thing to theorize about too much. <laughs> there were two routes on that theorize board. Am guilty, am not guilty. Same thing with, like, Gates to Infinity, where it's just, like, a little bit more because, like, they took a long time for the main story to kick off, but that was kind of fun. But here, they've been cutting to it. We have, we've we been cutting to these various cutaways showing that things are going to hell. Rayquaza left the planet. Deoxys came to the planet and said, God damn, that's some bad vibes. Latios and Latias <laughs> were running away from an entirely different continent, still got caught. Things are just going crazy. Well, last time, I believe, we mostly just went and grabbed that special looplet if we want to cheese Minmax a little bit. And uh, we're just doing our normal expeditions, waiting for the next horror to find us. I am still wondering, because like, also, Mr. Nuzleaf did come to visit us. He just like, ah, well, it's good to see that you two are doing well. Something's got to happen. Uh, this is going to, if, like, a part of me is like, we are obviously going to go back to Serene Village at some point. Obviously. Because that's just a fun, fun thing that's obviously going to happen. Our friends are there. Something's got to happen. So either it's going to be like the Shire from the books and hell is going to be there. Or I don't even know. I'm still wondering if Mr. Nuzleaf's gonna get mugged on his way back home. Considering that he came all the way to... Lively Town. The BHM are nowhere to be seen. We haven't seen them in streams. Well, technically, I guess we haven't really seen the BHM since the first stream. But we haven't heard tell of the BHM in streams. I don't know. <laughs> There's so much going on. <laughs> There's so, so, so much foreshadowing. So much it's overloading my brain. <laughs> like, is everything connected? Or like the Behem their own thing? And then like the tree its own thing. And then the people being turned to stone, that's its own thing. <laughs> We're gonna have the triumvirate of big bads come together. The Behem are gonna start punching Freddy Krueger in the face. Give it your all out there, team. Yes, sir. And of course, we're gonna... I guess we'll do a quick circuit of, uh... Looking around the various continents. Just in case. Good luck with your work! Oh, did you need a lunch to take with you? You don't? Well, then I guess this lunch will just be added to my share for the day! Because sometimes I can theorize somewhat decently. I have no idea where to go from here. I'm keeping in touch with Archon and the others thanks to Dedene. Though they haven't found any kind of useful information yet, it is only just the start of the day. Good luck with your jobs today. It looks like the rumors have set the whole town to talking as well. Ah, so the stoning accusations have come to town. Oh yeah, and I also forgot, the sun is getting closer! How could I have forgotten? <laughs> so that's four things! People turning into stone, the behem, the, the scarves in the tree, the sun getting closer, and then I guess also me being here at all. Um, this is no good. Of course it's no good, there's like five apocalypses happening at once. We are living in hell. Whoever is doing this, why would they send out any kind of warning? Maybe they're a blood knight? What? You want to know if I have any ideas about those turning to stone incidents? What could I know? All we know is so far as rumors and worse. Rumors do tend to grow with the telling. It's getting so that I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm V! V for victory! What are you, Ash? Catch him as an unknown? I went to Turk! 
to the Mian Fu, not you, Klefki. You've got to be able to protect yourself. I would like to think that I can. It's scary, all right. That talk about being turned into stone. I can't even sell my wares in peace. You're a merchant? I did not know. Where the hell did I get this many elixirs? over here and sell our special apples. This Kecleon does not care. He's like, people are being turned to stone. That's not my problem. Maybe I can sell stone carving tools to capitalize. The world is going mad. <laughs> From my YouTube chat. Don't forget the sun falling down, Majora's Mask style. The ultimate Majora's Mask sequel. It's the sun this time, and it's frowning. Hey, Schneezel, it's been a bit. Wasn't talking to you, but okay. Why are we only seeing a Rotom washer? Don't make me mad if you don't want to taste my claws. Hey, it's a Persian. Ah, yes. Velicity Bank used to be there. Why is it gone? I don't know. You worked there, right? <laughs> you owned it. Honestly, I feel like doing nothing. Mood sometimes. Ah, uh, we got a gold looplet and zinc. ba da ba da ba I guess we'll sell this gold looplet. I don't really see a purpose for it. And then we'll take out the zinc. Don't want to buy, I want to sell. This is worth five apples. Right, and now we'll quickly check our connection orb. See if we can, like, connect anything. Hey, Lillipop, how are you doing? <laughs> Let's go check the locked door together. Which, that should be actually pretty easy. I think we'll do that one. After we do our world trip tour. It seems like there's quite a lot of talk going on in the plaza. And that indeed there is. Again, the fact that there's one... Well, technically there's two things. The little bit up top, which is kind of scary. And then the big part down bottom, which is also scary. Then there's the island in the middle. That's the center of the world. That's where Arceus lives. Uh, apparently, we took a good time to come here. Gengar! <laughs> we'll be able to do that voice again. I have a letter to be delivered! <laughs> to Bayonet in Grass Continent. Perfect time to grab this then. And Muna? All the villains are here today. I may be up for it today, I may not be. I'm not too sure myself. I may not look it, but I'm good at dancing. No one believes you. I want to send this letter to an old friend. <laughs> to Gigalith! Oh, that makes sense. That's neat. Keeping in touch with your previously a death cult is always nice to see. I'm Rose Raid of Team Raider, the legendary exploration team. I find it hilarious that that's just like all they can say. All these years, they only appear for like one little time at the beach in Explorers of Sky, and that's like, that's all they have. 
That's their entire identity. I almost missed these sparkles. I'm blind. <laughs> Villain convention. Maybe it's we tried to kill someone anonymous. Yeah, I guess technically Gengar tried to kill us by proxy. Oh, let me quickly check and see if I have any other, like, uh, hidden missions. Secret task, secret task. Any other secret tasks? Nope. Just uh, one on the mist and one on grass. Well, off we go to the grass continent. We gotta get high. <laughs> Surely we can find a weed dispensary that will sell to us now that we have our magical grow into adult scarves. Hey, it's Shift Tree! I create strong winds of my fans. Let me know if you get hot. Man, he's... He would have charged an arm and a leg for that all the way, way, way back. So, hello, Bennett. If you have a friend, call him. I figured that Gengar would have sent a, le <laughs> a message to Gardevoir, but I guess there's only one Gardevoir. And they don't want to confirm the fan theory. <laughs> Let me see, this is definitely an annoying letter. Way to go, Gengar. This is full of nasty stuff. It makes me feel full of energy. Thanks for delivering the letter. Oh yeah, you feed off that, don't you? God, you're so annoying. I love you. I still love the... The, like, uh, the fan theory that Team Charm's Gardevoir is rescue team... Guard of War. I just I like it. <laughs> oh, and by Gengar's introduction, <laughs> we get introduced to a bunch of other people, like a dead child, and that dead child becoming a Revenant. <laughs> we now have an army of ghosts. They're gonna help us murder some people. I guess I'll buy a big apple as a thing to thing. Gengar is attached to Gardevoir on the orb, actually. Hell yeah, that's cool. I want to talk about food. Well, you are the evolution of somebody we know who loves food. But God, what a name, Slurpuff. Like, what are you, the... The weird bastard child of a Jigglypuff and a Lickitung? Thank you for talking with me. I'm hungry after all that talk. Will you buy me something to eat? And then we immediately run away. No, get away. Swirlix with an even bigger stomach. We can't afford that. Next, I do believe that we... Oh, wait! I did. I don't think we checked out this place for sparklies. Aha! I want to introduce my family to you. You are going to murder me, aren't you? <laughs> you are going to murder me! And it's on Sunny Spot Hill. I think that's a horror place, but he is connected to Gardevoir. That's cool. Swallow needs help in a dungeon. Abundant pass. And Ekans, hey! I was sneaking through and got lost! On the berry forest. Found apple. Hey, Scyther. I'm Scyther of Team Razorwind! My sharp sides paved the way! We got a calcium and a dream eater. <laughs> if we ever want to give that to, <laughs> like, uh, Gengar, because, wait a minute, I th aren't TMs, like, infinite? Thanks for the help. ba 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 ba, -ba. Go ahead. 
ahead and take out this calcium. Do, 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 do. Now we go to the Mist Continent next. For the other secret. <laughs> well, it's in line. <laughs> Don't think PMD TMs are. Because yeah, I think I remember hearing that starting with Gates to Infinity, TMs are infinite use. But uh, my memory could also be wrong. Handed over the letter from Muna. Thank you for the letter! It takes me back. It's been so long since I heard from Lady Muna. Can you tell her I'm doing just fine? We take over the postage service. Polipper uh, sends the mafia after us. But I, I do like this. And they're all connected. I wonder why she's connected to Zorua. At least it looked like she was. First quick run around. Sparkly. Can you secretly deliver a letter? <laughs> Gallade, a place out adventuring. Roserade. I don't... Is that the same one? I think I might know where that one is. We'll have to go back to the Wind Continent. Another Zinc. Wrong button. Ba -ba. I do wonder why, if most of those rewards just get sent to my deposit box, why they're, they're not sent there immediately anyway. But eh, it gives us a reason to... Visit Mama Kangaskhan. The, the flute in that song is just very nice. I forgot that we could speed that up. <laughs> Let's do the time warp again. So, I probably missed up, like, uh, Roserade and somebody else. I just want to make sure this isn't, the like, a different one. Oh, nope, it is the right one. My memory is not as faulty as I thought it was. Thank you for the letter from Gallade. Leave it to me. Tell him that I accept it. Booyah. Again, Polipper is gonna murder us for come <laughs> encroaching upon his land. Oh, and by Gallade's introduction, Riperior. I like to believe that humans who turn to Pokemon keep their old personalities, so you could just have a human with ADHD be a Pokemon. Probably, probably. It would be kind of disturbing if they're like, you're going to be sent to the Pokemon world, and your whole personality is going to be yoinked away. Well, then at that point, any old soul would do. At that point, that's not sending somebody to the Pokemon world. That's creating a new Pokemon out of a human soul. Zippity, zippity, zippity up. Doesn't look like there's anything out and about, but we can check the cafe connection here, of which we got a sparkly, but nothing else. Pekka, Pekka, and Lucky. With nothing else, so... Put all that 
together. And we'll take the zinc and carbos. So that we can use them. Quickly check the connection orb, see if anything new was added, since after all these other connections. Nope, doesn't look like it. And I'll quickly check my expedition list, because we are going to head to Polyrath River and help Lillipup get to that door. Ba-boom, ba-da-boom. Ride the liner. Back to the water continent. <laughs> Zoroark Neon! There's so many potential me's running around. Like there's the... Superior, and then like the... Sni like middle evolution Snivy Neon. There's a Zoroa running around. A Zoroark as we just saw. There's any number of potential me's. Da -da -da -da. Let's go to the Polyrath River. Ba -da -ba -ba. Charizard does not want to be here today. Let's see. Do we have a grass type that we'd like to bring along since this is Polyrath River? I completely forget what Pokemon come here. Bring a leafy on along. Let's bring a let's bring a leafy on along. Why not? And now we'll divvy up these carbos. I am the most important when it comes to speed, so I nom. Let's see. Special defense. Uh, we have one of each, so one for me, one for the boy. And then calcium, which is obviously going to the boy, so he can annihilate fools even more efficiently. Well, that was just very ineffective. Congratulations, you did nothing. Good job there. <laughs> Leafy on was the right choice, and we got a box! Hell yeah. I have no idea if the boxes are even good in this game, but it's a box! And that makes it worth it. <laughs> the music is just so calm. For a place called the Polyrath River. Here's the River of Wrath, where doom and damnation happen, and we all sing happy songs. Come closer, face your end. Force pump. Get punched, idiot. Dom. Good job there. My real question is, how does Lillipup know how to open the door? I didn't even have time to get them! That's illegal game! Genuine illegality. If you, s <laughs> there should be some mechanic in this game that's just like, hey, can the player reach the Emeras upon spawning into this room? If no, do not spawn them. It's just a mean thing to do. Congratulations, you have accomplished nothing. You have moved. 
Aha, failed to affect me, idiot. Hey, an ember was upgraded. Oh, yeah. At least I got lullaby. No idea why you tried to use the water attack on the not fire type when the fire type was right there. Not my accuracy. Clairvoyance! Hell yeah. Oh, you bastard. That sleep thing literally stopped me from getting that other Emera. I have been thieved. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of items. Well, we're gonna try and make a beeline for those Emeras so we don't have to like hunt down enemies that are holding them hostage. Hmm. But first let's see if we can find like another entrance to the room. Because if we can find an entrance from the left, we have probably a better chance of getting them before they explode. Well, that explains why there were that many items. Hmm. You know what? We'll take a special attack looplet for the boy. I would have gotten that attack looplet, but it wouldn't do me any good to lose out on my ability to... ...schmack up, like, uh, people with a lot of... ...Imras in my pocket. At least these enemies can't randomly destroy Emeras. Like, I attack the Emera and it dies just to deny you the satisfaction of having an Emera. That would be an evil mechanic. Like, the most evil mechanic. I have a perfect apple. When did I get a perfect apple? I do not have a perfect apple. Like, I think I have a perfect apple in my inventory. Like, back in the deposit box land. No idea what to do with it. Do I sell the perfect apple or do I eat the perfect apple? It's one of those things that I'm like, <laughs> I'm never going to end up using it by the end of the game. Probably. Then there are these final two items in this room, which are mine. It feels like there aren't that many random berries. Well, I'm gonna presume that one down there is a shop. That or a monster house, it's a shop. Special attack looplet, we already bought one from your cousin. Antonio, one floor ago. You're not gonna live to see the light of dawn. Well, that's a mean way to do a room. Type bulldozer, hell yeah. And intimidator. And that last one's gonna break. At least those ones had a decent amount of turns that I could get to them. And of course, we come here, eat an apple. Nom. I get a little annoyed by my allies getting in front of me when I'm trying to move. Get bulldozed, idiot. And bulldozed, idiot.
Nom. We swap with another apple. I slowly wait for me <laughs> chance to eat this apple. Die. We have come to murder you. Nom. We just gotta go on an item gathering trip. Get some money. Get some items. Punch some crustaceans. All of this money from Apple Mafia will know no end. <laughs> Goodbye, Kecleon. At this point, I'm surprised that the Kecleons don't all also own the bank. Then again, we don't rightly know who runs the deposit boxes, now do we? I guess I might as well. I'm never gonna be... I have like a bunch of Emra Up Orbs. And like the, I feel like Emra Up Orbs are kind of meh overall, because on the one hand, they allow you to carry more Emras on your looplet, but the problem is, like, you never know how many Emras you're going to run into in a dungeon. Like, I guess if it's a story dungeon, you could bring like an Emra Up Orb and use it right beforehand, I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta gather. Just gotta find all the items. I have clairvoyance. It makes it a bit easier. Why would you attack the, the grass type? Idiot. Man, these dungeon Pokemon are kind of stupid sometimes. Imagine spitting water at a grass type. Horse palm. I'm just getting so many apples. Like, uh, what's my hunger at? I guess it's like, uh... Worth it. Roundabout. Punch. Oh, hey, what's this? Barrage guard? There haven't been really that many barrage attacks in the game, period. Poison guard? I don't think there's anything here that's, like, using poison. Watch me immediately get poisoned by something in this goddamn dungeon. They'd be useful for more beefy, lengthy endgame dungeons. Ah, so what I should do, especially on just normal expeditions, is hoard up my Emra, my Emra Up Orbs. And then when it comes to using them, saving them for, like, story dungeons and post-game. Super hard dungeons. Come to think of it, Emra Up Orbs would be very, very handy for, like... <laughs> The, like, hardly ever seen anymore 100 floor dungeons. <laughs> I still find it very funny that you don't have to feed the other teammates. We do not sit down and have just a fun little picnic. Only the team leader gets to eat. Hey there, Neon. Hello, hello. We are expeditioning through Polyrath River. Taking dear little Lillipup to a door. You are very mean. I punch you. We are going to be rich off of all these goddamn apples. All these apples will lead us to the promised land. 
Oh, this is just going the completely wrong way. Need to make it to the exit. And then when we get back, I need to remember to put the special attack looplet for the boy. You, you can, in turn, change who you're playing as to basically spread the hunger without eating. I f keep forgetting about that. That's like a thing I just keep forgetting is a thing. Clutch performer, uh, why be clutch when I can just be good? Oh, this is one that's uh, just letting us uh, beat him up. All right, beat him up. I think we just beat a, a comatose individual. We don't know what kind of hospitals the dungeon Pokemon have. Another poison guard, Nom. Again, we get to, like, the last floor. It gets flooded by poison types. We can never find the exit. We die. Hmm. Toughness, which I believe, yeah, endure attack that would otherwise cause you to faint. Nom. And another clairvoyance, I believe. So I shall just nom. I guess we'll put that down. And then I shall use it since I'm getting low on moves and we're only three floors away from end. Why are there so many sleeping yous die? And now my brain tripped down the thought process and landed on, what if we're just going through, like, a dungeon Pokemon nursery? And it's like, Master Skywalker, what do we do? <laughs> Uses my force hand. Hmm, I guess out of anything. Leaving behind an orange berry. Raise my health in case we have to fight, like... The Polyrath Bros again. Still don't know why the Polyrath Bros, like, are super mean and like, eh, you're in our territory, we're gonna beat you up, even if you are children. And then they turn around and guard the, like, sacred mountain. I don't know, it's just it's weird. Hmm. Ah, the roll call orb. I don't need the roll call orb. The roll call... I don't use roll call. Because I'm always like, I'm never gonna get separated. And one of these days, I'm gonna get separated and hunted down one by one like a horror show. Let's see. Charge all you want. I'm still gonna punch you from very far away. Such is life. <laughs> it's just like, Apollo, please, Yolo. We have been walking through the dungeon for hours and I'm hungry. It's like, I'm the team leader. I'm the only one that can eat the apples. <laughs> I'm really being a drawing machine today. Huzzah! May your drawings be satisfying. And the act be a learning experience that is good. Hmm, we haven't really been running into that many traps. Watch that activate the spawn all traps on every floor button. We are getting so many apples. Let me see. Ah, perfect time to eat an apple. Gotta eat that ground apple. I went through the wrong entrance. That was just a guard one. And it became a paralysis guard. <laughs> we are becoming the Apple Mafia. Oh, 
But I definitely need to try and draw more. It's just whenever I try to draw, my brain tries to... Jesus Christ, so many goddamn apples. It's just like every time I try, my brain gets very angry at me. Like, how dare you defy me? We're supposed to be angry at our art and not be satisfied. Finding a way to beat back the brain and then enjoy drawing is very hard. Then again, I've just been procrastinating on all things, like, uh, creative for a while. I need to get back to writing. Things are hard. I wonder why there's so many, like, I'm just gonna sit here and sleep. <laughs> Imagine, you're asleep. You get punched. You immediately wake up and then fall asleep again. Perfection is an enemy indeed. I think I've mostly beaten perfectionism in terms of like my writing and my art. Now it's just the anxiety of ha ha, people do not enjoy the, what you create and it's a waste of time kind of anxiety is getting punched at me. Jesus Christ, there are so many apples! I can't hold all these apples. Essentially, brain is just my biggest enemy, and I have to beat it somehow. Someday. I do not know why there are so many... Emeras. I do not know why there are so many apples. This is just a world. <laughs> if Pokemon had horror, well explained the ghost hand in Lavender Town. Trying to remember. I forget if there was like, because I know there are have been like, ah, the ghosts. They have been like, ghosts spread across various Pokemon games. Funnily, some of the I slap my brain trying to word properly. Like, uh, saw some people discussing the possibility of. Deoxys being a good, like, horror thing. But I think Poke- I really do wish that Pokemon did more with, like, the IP. Because, like, there is something to be said about not having, like, overexposure of, like, too much of a thing. But I feel like Pokemon is vast enough that they could infiltrate various niches and create different things like Pokemon Natural Disaster, like Pokemon Mystery, Pokemon Slice of Life. There's like a ton of things you can do with Pokemon that aren't just like uh, the same things over and over. I guess I'll put that on. It'd be very interesting to see what they could do. Then again, I'm the type of person that's saying Pokemon and Nintendo should make Pokemon storybooks and, like, <laughs> tell, like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon-style stories just, like, as books, as things, like, just tell a story of a world of Pokemon without humans. I think it would be interesting. Because they could just tell so many different stories with just, like, the setting of Pokemon. And the different Pokemon's different interpretations. I just think it'd be neat. And again, they're like different gameplay types they could do with Pokemon. But we just haven't, like, done that yet. Again, I'm still on the train of it would be super cool if there was a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game that was more like beat em up hack and slash action. With, like, all the dungeon crawling about. Don Don Pokelin, Don Pokelin! Very interesting that they kept that. Since last I heard, it's like a 
the onomatopoeia. Which is interesting. Let us go through. Be interesting if you had to lie, if the reason these were like difficult is because you had to explore through another dungeon afterwards. The basis is an NPC in Lavender Town asks about, oh, if you believe ghosts. Uh, oh, yeah, now I remember that dialogue. It's been a long time since I played Gen 1. Depending on your answer, she comments on the hand on your shoulder. Which was referenced in Pokemon Origins, too. Ah, that's interesting. Thank you. I couldn't be happier. Hmm. It should be noted, by the way, with Emeras, that stepping on the at all stops the countdown. And using them or inserting them counts as different additional actions. So sometimes it's good to not use them. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Me just being short-sighted. Imagine if I got expedition points for delivering all those letters. I'd be a god. Munch, munch, munch. <laughs> Words are hard and not the best at explaining. That's a mood. Sometimes you have like a single thought and you're like, how do I construct the words to say this thought? The next morning. Quite the refreshing morning in it. Morning, Murkrow. Why, hello, Milk Tank. Good morning to you, too. Out delivering Moo Moo Milk, are we? What's gonna happen? Is a crocodile gonna do something? Is there gonna be a murder? Uh, is somebody gonna turn to stone? Yep, that's why I'm here in Lively Town. I'll be at your house after that, Murkrow. See you then. Thanks for your hard work every day. Well, then. I suppose I'm off to Plaza for my morning exercise. Oh, uh, what happened? What's this? Milk tank is stopped. Seems there's a gathering of some sort. Oh my, what's this? What? What is the meaning of this? Is this how the, like, turn Pokemon to stone monster sent the, the warnings? I'm going to say that's for Jirachi. <laughs> Give it a read. A warning? Hold on, a warning? Could this be what Pokemon have been talking about lately? Chapter 15, a new warning. Of course there's not a murder. There's only one Murkrow. <laughs> I get it. A warning? You say they're being dropped over over the blah blah blah. Uh, I, my brain just tumbled over that. You're saying they're being dropped all over the plaza? Indeed. Detonate picked one up on the way here this morning. Detonate. Okay. Detonate began to read the warning. Turn to stone warning. The next target has been decided. The volcanic Entei, one of the three legendary Pokemon. Consider yourselves warned. I will turn Entei to stone. Very interesting. What? That Entei? How are they going to turn him to stone? The place will be Sh Showdown Mountain on the water continent. All are welcome to bear witness. Ah, I, I was for a moment there. I was gonna say, wait, that I don't think that's happened before. As long as they too are prepared to be turned to stone, that is all. This warning was in the plaza. I can't imagine Inte losing. I want to take some snacks and go watch. Were you even listening to what Dedene was reading? You'll be solid stone with their face full of snacks. That warning could just be a prank. Maybe Entei won't show up. That's a possibility too, right? He is far too prideful. He is going to show up. No, I fear he will go. Entei was after the culprit behind these turning to stone incidents. Perhaps that is also why he was on the air continent. As long as he doesn't believe it's a prank, Entei will go. Dedene, were these warnings only scattered over Lively Town? Maybe. 
I tried putting out feelers, but didn't hear anything from other regions. So it's almost like they want us to go. Huh. Nevertheless, we should all go to make certain, so that the Expedition Society can be wiped out in a single moment. If this warning is real, then we must track down whoever is behind it all. Marwile and I, as well as Arch and Bunnelby and Buzel, we five will go. But what about us? It has been, we have been going for an hour and I have not spoken as the boy. You will watch over our headquarters. This is too dangerous for you. We are literally the only ones who fought Inte in one. Ish. Kinda. We had two rounds against him. We did well. What? But we'll be okay. If it comes down to it, we can fight too. What do you say, Neon? We can do it, right? <laughs> He's very excited. Well, well, well. I did anticipate you saying such a thing. You certainly did have Entei's back against a wall. But you were protected by a mysterious power at the time. You won't necessarily be able to evolve next time. It's not just Entei this time, but whoever is behind these terrifying incidents. It'll be quite dangerous. Sorry, I didn't say it just to say it. I know it's going to be dangerous, but... The song! But even still, I can't just stand by and watch. Inte may be frightening, but I don't think he's a bad Pokemon. And also, we saw it. Latios and Latias turned to stone. Once you've seen something like that, I don't even know what to say. It is basically the most PG way of like, hey, here's a dead body. Whoever's behind it may just keep going. If that same thing happens to more and more Pokemon, we have to stop it. I just feel like I can't stand by and watch it happen. I know how you feel. I also saw Latios and Latias turn to stone, remember? I feel the same way you do. Chief, I'm gonna have to ask you to let these kids come along too. You're right, it will be dangerous, but I'll protect them if it comes down to it. Archon. Then I have no choice. All right! That is, I think you're uh, jumping the gun there. Gabriel, Neon, you two will be accompanying us. However, protecting you will not be Archon, but Marwile. And Bunnelby will assist her. And that's all right with you, Archon? Yes. Marwile is stronger and more experienced anyhow. She's more qualified than me. And Bunnelby knows all about Showdown Mountain. Let's split it a team, shall we? First will be Archon, Buzel, and me. Then we will have Bunnelby, Neon, Gabriel, and Marwile. Each team will take a separate route to the summit of Showdown Mountain. Gabriel and Neon, do whatever Marwile says. Understood? Yeah. Thanks, Amphros. Drachi, Dedene, and Swirlix will watch over headquarters. It's up to you. Leave it to us. Roger that. I'll be snacking away, I mean, cooking away, just waiting for you to come back. Very well then, everyone. Shall we depart to Showdown Mountain? Let's meet up at the gates to Lively Town. Whenever Gabriel and you are ready, come meet us at the gates. See you later. Let's get ready to take on a dungeon, Neon. Ah, a big sparkly. <laughs> we just found a looplet on the floor. Try to come back by dinner time, won't you? If you don't, I'll just have to go and eat up all your food, too. So that's why you better be sure to come back no matter what. I feel like Swirlix is the voice that's changed the most. I just can't keep it consistent. Eh, I think it fits Swirlix. I'll be going out myself once Archon and Buzo return. Denine will be here to keep things running, but we should all be careful nonetheless. I still think that uh, we should have the communications officer with us. If anything happens, I'll contact you at once through our gadget.
calling it now. The stoner is masculine. It's always fucking masculine. Like, it would be shocking, definitely. I don't see it happening. But who knows? The world is crazy. Anything can happen. Go ahead and make a bunch of money. Almost a thousand pokey dollars. From Twitch chat, hello there, hello, hello. We are about to embark upon a terrifying mission. Of which we can only hope that things go well. All right, now we need to organize our... I could have sworn I got rid of all those. Uh, we, we already made a lot of money. No need to do it. Ba, 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 ba. Hmm. Because I was informed that bosses, like, quickly get up from status effects, so... I'll have one petrifying totter with me just in case for, like, uh, mini-boss rooms or monster houses. We've yet to run into one since the, uh, Hound Doom, but still. And we'll take our last two Blast Seeds with us. Quickly open up the Rockin' Lock. Open up this box for us. Wow, ah, we got a gold bar. Which means we don't have to put anything away. Neon, we need to go uh, first to go to Showdown Mountain. We're supposed to meet up with Mawile and the others at Lively Town's Gate. But I want to go see the cafe. Showdown Mountain. Isn't that on the water continent? That's actually really close to us. Well, I mean, the person that sent the warning had to be close to enough to drop the letters and then book it to showdown. I was finally gearing myself up to start running outside again, and this happens? There's no telling how this will turn out. It's best to over-prepare. I overcame sorrow to become strong. Of course you did. I'd kind of like to go see the showdown, but I'm too scared to actually do it. I imagine it'll be quite dangerous, to, so be careful. Are you one of the ones going to Showdown Mountain? We're going to go to hell. We have a lot of Reviver Seeds. I think I'll put two Reviver Seeds away. And... Uh, bring with us two big apples. Extra special. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to Buzo. You better have your items in order. And since this is a uh, story dungeon, let me see. A oh, wrong button. A withdraw. Let's see. Emera up orbs. We have a decent amount. I will take one. We'll quickly check our connection orb, see if any connections have been made. No connections, or like missions, probably because it's story time, but still. And now that we did all that, we shall save. Be careful out there. Are you ready? If you are, we'll head out. Would you like to go to Showdown Mountain, even though... Off we go. <laughs> the plot is more important. Oh, we're back to getting good music. A power boot. Jesus. Why is it always the dragon breaths? But hey, raising my health for the inevitable boss fight, not terrible.
And now we're back to... Huh, you did one damage. How dare you! Always love me some music. Smack him up. And we get <laughs> we get that orange berry back already. Oh yeah, I forgot. Since we're in big dungeon, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Imra up orb. Just so I can put more on. <laughs> Maybe the real mystery dungeon was the friends we made along the way. Well, friends are mysteries indeed. Yeah, oh yeah, this is actually very unique scenery here. The rocks are very oddly shaped. But at least we have the kind of sort of bagpipes in the background. Punch. Punch. And a bite. Power boost X. Hell yeah. My power grows. That promo pass did nothing to the boy. Get down here. Barrage guard. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to have this on just in case I run into something. <laughs> that throws out barrages out the wazoo. Because you never know. All it takes is one enemy to be like, oh, this guy won't do anything. Then he just hits me with five million moves back to back. We'll check out this room down here. Oh. Alright. Why are all the Probo Passes being weird? Well, that's just mean. At least we got into the same room as an, an elixir already. Well, it was for foresight, so if anything had to be drained, at least it was foresight. And another Probo Pass! I can't wait for you to do nothing! I punch you! The Probo Passes are so weird. There's such epic music that's playing. I always love the soundtracks to these games. They're always just so well composed. I'm trying to think. Is this the first time that we've had, like, a story dungeon that had, like... Four... No, no, because we... I think we had, uh... The Ancient Barrow that also had... Like, super multiple. Funnel B, what are you doing? We don't want Bunnel B to waste our, like, heals and stuff by running around in a circle and getting cornered by a monster. Hmm, big ears. I guess it wouldn't be bad to set so that we know where enemies are. Clutch Performer, I'll just rather use you, because that would be like the first thing to go to be replaced. I punch you! Oh, level up! It's been a bit since we leveled up. I can learn a new move! Ah, it's Screech. Sharply lowers enemies' defense, though. It has good build-up to it. The music's so good. Hmm. 
but also it has very low act. Well, not not very low. Hmm. But all the same, like we haven't been using foresight that often, so I guess we'll put screech on as a possibility. And then we just need to pray that we don't run into too many ghost types that are out to screw me. Oh, hey. Store. Big store. Big ass store. Focus loop. Weather looplet. Attack loop. Also, I just realized, I think, we'll have to kill this guy, and then I think I'll have to... Because I don't think I equipped the diddly D for the boy. Can't believe it. If you're into ghost types, you have Bite, a dark move. Still, they also... A lot of ghost types in this game have Spite. So they'd be able to really blast me. It would just be annoying. Trap proof, I guess not bad to have. Poison guard, I'll just nom. I don't think there's anything. For my Twitch chat, you're getting close to the shit gets real part of the game. Considering that we only have two bosses left on the check, and ba ba ba, <laughs> we are actively going to see what it is that is stoning legendaries. I can only imagine. We'll let my hunger get a bit lower and use the big ones. That was close. Oh, but it's just another clutch performer. Nom. Darn it, Dwebble. Die. Become paralyzed. I shall raise my HP because I can. Remember, everybody, as you're on a dangerous adventure where shit's gonna get real, remember to stay hydrated with your ice-cold tea. But it doesn't seem like there's anything else, unless we want to go down below the shop. I think we'll just move along. We don't have- we don't know how many floors this dungeon has. And while I do enjoy full clearing as much as I can, we also don't want to waste our stuff too much. The use of items have been temporarily blocked. The status will go away after a while or when you move in on to the next floor. I'm not worried. Mawile will be able to destroy this guy. Hmm, guard boost. Probably good to have. Oh, we don't want to eat that. Yeah, is there anything I care to? Let's get rid of the gravel rocks. I don't care about the gravel rocks. Throws are not all that important to me. Damn you, Vibrava. I bite you. Be gone, bug man. Oh, my bad. Now we eat the Big Apple. We eat New York City. Or I guess I could have swapped to somebody else to control. I'm just always in the habit of always controlling my main character. Just not used to swapping control to others for m max strats. Ah, Barrage, you are fantastic. Now that's just mean. Nom. Get barraged, idiot. Apparently this place is just the place of rocks.
Another looplet. It's a P.E.K.K.A. looplet, but I don't want to waste my inventory. We'll swap out that gravel rock that we picked back up. Nom. I bite the sun. It's extra funny because Gravel Rock used to be, like, my favorite item in these games. To just spam and use. We definitely need to kill him. <laughs> he prepares revenge. He needs to die. I'll go ahead and just eat this. Same thing with this on the floor. Eat that. Expand my health just a little bit. And no extra room. That should be all of them. We move along. The main downside to the rocks here is when using moves, you're at least working to upgrade them. That is also true. Because I... <laughs> there weren't... Once again, we spawn into a room where it was impossible to get the Emera up. Pain. Huh. Sleep payback. Not all that bad, I think. Set... All right, maybe I need to control Gabriel. Wish I could actually click it, but nope. Can I control Gabriel? <laughs> Game says no. <laughs> no to controlling my ally for here for some reason. Just, I probably should have given that to Gabriel. Kind of in hindsight, immediately after using it. I'm just like, use it while I have it. Get it upgrade my health. But yeah, but, like, come to think of it, there really weren't that many, like, throwables, for the most part, in Gates to Infinity. And even then, with, like, uh, Explorers, I think I kind of stopped using throwables past a certain point. Meditate all you want, I punch you from across the room. Do we have big ears? We have big ears, so... Uh, what do you upgrade? HP? We shall give it to the boy. I think it's to stop you controlling Ma while, maybe, since her and Bunnelby aren't considered playable. That could also be it. It's just kind of funny that... I wonder if there could have been a way for them to make it so you couldn't control them. Like... Why not program them as, like, uh, guest star party members, kind of like they do with, uh, oh, hey, an Emera Up Orb. Sure. Like they do with, like, uh, the temporary people that join you sometimes, because I think they're programmed a little differently. Very rude. I punch you. Very rude. I punch you again. And a level up for the boy. But still, it is understandable if they don't want me to presumably play as the... Here to, uh, guide you along a presumably slightly difficult dungeon. Let's see if there's any room down here. I punch you. I punch you again. <laughs> Trying to level up my vacuum punch. How dare you. I bite the stone. And we move along. Let's let him come to us. Oh. Take that, idiot. Yes, vacuum wave upgraded. Boss bomb. Thank God that missed. I don't have barrage guard. That could have annihilated me. 
basically the one time you thought to use it was the one time you can't for story reasons. Well done. This is the oppression inherent in the system. Now let's see. More Emera dust. Hmm. Status mirror. Just in case. I guess it wouldn't be terrible to have. Another clutch performer. Let's see. What do you upgrade? Speed? Definitely nom. I punch you. Don you. Haha! <laughs> Go to sleep and die. I'll go ahead and eat this apple off the ground. Wand expert, uh, what do you upgrade? Attack? Then I'm just gonna use you. That is so much more useful to me than wand expertise. <laughs> Funnily, I could have sworn that, like, Probopass and his evolutions were not weak to fighting when I played Generation 4. Or was it Generation 3? I forget. One of them. I recently played them. Ran into, like... Or what? No, I think it was They Are Weak, but it was, like, the, the Bell ones. That I'm like, oh, they're Steel! And then they're like, I don't know. I'm always terrible when it comes to Pokemon typings. <laughs> One day, I'm sure you'll see the usefulness of wands someday. I do have, like, petrify wands, like, at the bottom of my bag. It's just that I never think to use them. Like, any time it would be good for me to use, I probably just don't think of them. Get barraged, idiot. Bronzor and Brazong are part psychic. Yeah, but it always feels like they're not treated as steel. So it's just like, I'm gonna punch you to get, like, uh, just a normal hit on you, and it's like, nope, it's not very effective. But they're literally made of metal! It's like, nah, they're psychic. Ooh, Dizine Stare. Do I want to replace anything? We do have Barrage Guard. We haven't been running into any traps, and traps are only a minor hindrance in this game. Son of a bitch! Right when I say it. Right when I say it. Uh, let's see. Tactics meeting. Oh, I can just go to the entire team. Right there. I feel like this is karma. And of course, Bunnelby is wandering about like an idiot. Either that or Bunnelby is just wrecking shop. Yeah. So it's interesting, Bunnelby specifically is not programmed as part of the team, but everybody else is. Interesting. Let's see, Dizzying Stare, or do I care? I already have Dizzying Stare, so we'll give it to you. And of course it happened right after I took off my trap, like, defense. And status mirror. 
I already have one of you, so let me see. Increases speed. Nom. I'll become the speediest boy. For some reason, Ma Wile is <laughs> running off to parts unknown. Probably because Gabriel stood in the neck of the hallway, stopping her from following. Personally, I think that the teammates shouldn't, like, wander off if they're behind another teammate. It shouldn't be like, oh, we're if we lose sight of the captain of the team, we lose our way. It should just be team members in general. <laughs> Bronzor and Brazung are stealing psychic type only neutral damage from fighting. That's the thing, because I could swore that like I would use fighting type moves against them and the game would go, haha, not very effective. Then again my memory could just be shot. But I swear, I swear the game was being weird about it. Whichever one it was that I was playing, that it happened. Let's see, do I have a big apple left? I do have a big apple left, so we wait till we get very hungry. Slap the bug. Well, those emeralds are gone. How about you reverse this? I think he did. Gonna like get there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Almost. I was not expecting to grab them anyway. Hey, Sparklies. A Max Elixir, you say? Perfect. Right when I needed one. Let's see. What stat do you increase? Special defense? I think I might just uh, give it to the boy. Just in case. Poison Guard, what stat do you increase? HP. We give it to the boy to increase his HP. Make him a bit more tanky. Ah, just more of that. So we're going to go ahead and beat this guy up because we can. And since we're getting low and I don't want to take too much damage unless the enemy... Just decide to come for me. Go ahead and eat Big Apple. Oh, because I ate the Big Apple. They're like, we're going to go pick up items now. I always forget that they do that. <laughs> They've always been neutral to fighting. They're just big, beefy, defensive boys. Forget if I read that or not. My mind is just bleg. Unless you were talking about Chingling and Chimico, they're, which are just psychic types. No, because I could have sworn that there was a Pokemon that I was fighting in one of the, like, early, like, uh, like, uh, generations that I just was playing not too long ago that was, like, part psychic type, but I thought would get neutral damage if I hit them with a fighting move, only for the game to say, nope, it is not very effective. Again, it could just be my memory going bleg. But I could have sworn that there was, like, some kind of dual type, or presumably dual type. That did not give neutral damage. Let's see, if it's just a berry, then we shall move along. Oh yeah, I forgot. Ow, how dare you. I guess we'll wait a bit. Recoup our health. Come here and die, Vibrava, you fool. Somehow the scariest Pokemon here because of its dragon breath. 
get smacked. Hmm, a tiny reviver seed. Is there anything? <laughs> is there anything I want to throw away? Sure, the, the thing that I'm never going to use. <laughs> a blast seed. Hmm. Is there anything I'd like? Ah, the confused wand. I'm not going to use you. But it could be useful if I want to remember to use blast seeds against the boss. I punch you from afar. I punch you up close. Again, why is it that Polyrath River gave us Imra's galore, but this place kind of isn't? Uh, we'll give one to the boy. The guard boost. We'll just make our way to the exit. Try to conserve power points and health. <laughs> but just the patches of Emera dust always amuse me. Your defense won't save you for long. Rather, it is your speed that worries me. Ooh, Intimidator. That might be nice to replace something with. I, com I hit the wrong button. Ah, well. Not the end of the world. We have plenty of Emera dust to pick up and use. Let's see. Unless these are special circlets that have a million Emera slots. Doesn't look like it. This is Clutch Performer. Remind me again. Speed. I need speed. I need to be a fast boy for ultimate murder. How dare you, Sand Attack, die. Again, just for some reason, the abundance of Emera Dust unnerves me slightly. Poison Guard, what do you upgrade? HP? While we do have to sacrifice the nice number, HP is just far more important than nice. Like this. Upgrade your health. Become big, beefy wizard boy. Of course, like all the enemies are congregating in the way we're going. Finding more Emeras allows us to increase our capability for murder. More capability for murder, the better things go. Oh, well, hey, it's a box! Exactly what I need. It will take up a inventory slot. Hopefully we're near... A thing. Remind me, what stat? HP? Hmm. Always upgrade him. Now. Wait, we were gonna eat the apple anyway, so. Nom. Barrage Guard, you increase special defense. I was concerning the amount of psychic Pokemon every so slightly. Jesus Christ, why are the Vibravas so beefy? How dare you cry fake tears, die. Give me my move back. Let's move along.
It's a seal trap. The Pokemon that steps on this trap will be able to will be unable to use one move. Oh boy. Of course, it's the one that I just got back. Quit running away and die. Nom. Another Emera up orb. I wonder, can I limit break my Emeras? No more notches, ah. Understandable, but sad. It would have been funny. Infinite. Blinker Seed. Go ahead and give it to you so you can continue to be artillery. I punch you from afar. Yes, yeah, side beam upgraded. One downside to this game compared to GTI is I have a hard time, like, uh, telling, like, what level the moves actually are. Because before, it was easy to tell what Roman numeral it was. Here, they kind of blend together really easily. But I was also thinking, like, what games I should play after I beat Super Mystery Dungeon, considering there's no other Mystery Dungeon games to get to. One is, like, playing a decent amount of, like, the Final Fantasy series, like Final Fantasy 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, kind of go up from there. But now I can use my Force Palm again. Now the murder can commence once more. Confusion Guard. What do you increase? HP. Increases health. How dare you use the reversal. Die. Power Boost X! Hell yeah. The ultimate. What are we going to replace? Barrage Guard, I say. Been able to punch more and punch harder, always the go. <laughs> My thought is given a ZA, Legend ZA, maybe XY at some point if you want a Pokemon suggestion. That's definitely true. But uh, I'll definitely need to go through the. Uh, Generation 5 games first. Then there's also other, like, uh... Like, uh, side games. Like, Pokemon Conquest. That I maybe want to check out. I think it's called Pokemon Conquest. It's the one that's, like... Kind of, sort of, a crossover, but... I don't know. It's like, uh... It's a tactics RPG. Where you start with an Eevee. But I definitely want to get to the other, like, generations of Pokemon eventually. An Emera Up Orb. I will hold on to that unless we max out Gabriel's Looplet. Yeah, there's lots of games, but a lot of the games. Because, like, yeah, the Final Fantasy games are ones that I'm interested in maybe giving a shot. Then, of course, there's, like, Nier Automata, some, like, PlayStation 1 and other SNES JRPGs that are always interesting. Like, Alundra, I think it's called. Breath of Fire. Like, again, Nier Automata. Undertale Yellow, Deltarune. Tons of RPGs. 
Ranger could be fun, but if the mouse it could be unique. Yeah, like uh, making poffins, I believe they were, or like Poke Blocks, maybe. In Generation, yeah, Generation 4 and Platinum, it was uh, a bit of a, it was a bit weird. <laughs> Pokemon Conquest is said to be like Final Fantasy Tactics. Could definitely be interesting. Conquest is like Mystery Dungeon based on another series over in Japan. Hmm. It is kind of funny. Like, so many people probably think Mystery Dungeon is just a Pokemon thing. And then there's like, here's Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon. I think we're getting close to the summit. Oh, there's a path over there. That's it. Let's go. Yep, no doubt about it. Once we get through here, we'll be at the summit. Let's pick up the pace. Crocodile, what the fuck? Who's there? What? He left a tablet? What? Why is, why is Crocodile here? He can't... It is impossible. Could it be that Crocodile made those pamphlets? Because Dedene said that she didn't have, like, her feelers that she put out, she didn't hear anything about any other place getting the notes. So is it possible that Crocodile frickin' fabricated it? And that tablet is how he mass-produced it? Okay, let's see. Hey, wait right there! What the fuck? I was not expecting this. Was that Crocodile from Lively Town? That Crocodile? Yeah. What's he doing here? Something's not right. Should we go after him? No. We have to get to the summit first. Huh? What was that? What is that indeed? It's a tombstone. A stone tablet? I guess Crocodile dropped this as he ran off. <gasps> it has footprint-like writing on it, and it looks ancient. Or is, did Crocodile specifically drop that to tempt Mawile? <laughs> hey, Mawile, what's wrong? Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm on my way now. Or is that going to be like a hint for the future? I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> if you play Undertale Yellow, you got a death counter to beat of my 46 deaths. Interesting. <laughs> Good thing we have the archaeology nerd here. If only she had time to read it. So this is going to be like... Ooh, interesting. Like, uh... Not geometry, but like, uh... I guess 3D geometry. Like, level layout. This must be the summit of Showdown Mountain. Shh, keep quiet. Oh, sorry. I wonder if Entei and whoever is behind this are already here. I can't tell. First, let's get a handle on the situation. We'll be in trouble if they find us first, so we have to be careful. Stay low and keep moving. Pokey Gear Solid. Maybe Crocodile wanted to watch Entei get turned to stone? Well, he already got turned to stone, so that's great. But the thing is, is like, there's something about the tablet. Why would Crocodile... Because Crocodile was following us. And he dropped an ancient tablet for some reason. Whoa! What's wrong? Yuck! We were too late. A Pokemon that's been turned to stone. Could this be Entei? Yep, no doubt about it. But how? I mean, it's Entei we're talking about. It's look like his showdown with whoever's behind this is already over. I don't sense anybody else around. It looks like whoever turned Entei to stone is already gone. It's the expedition gadget. Everyone took out the... Oh, I thought that was Dead Nate talking to us. Everyone took out their expedition gadgets. Come in. Is anyone there? It's Dead Nate. I'm so glad I got a hold of you. What's going on over there? Dedene, can you hear me? It's Mawile, actually. Like, I thought that we would at least get here at the tail end, watch him get turned to stone. Like, maybe see it happen in the, like, the figure that did it. It was like, <laughs> I did it. Slight monologue and disappear. 
But no, just missed it out entirely. Aha, uh-huh, is that so? Even Inte got turned to stone. Yes, we unfortunately didn't make it in time. Dead and A, what about the chief? Oh, Bunnelby, good work out there. When I contacted him a minute ago, he said he was approaching the summit. I think he should arrive shortly. And here I am. Thank you for your efforts, everyone. I could hear your conversation with Dedene. I believe I have a rough understanding of what took place. It seems that we were too late. My, my, my. It's because you kept getting lost, sir. You shouldn't say that, silly. Anyway, even one as powerful as Inte has been turned to stone, as you can see. I think this is a, like, like, kind of a remix of, uh, like, a classical Mystery Dungeon song that, yeah, with, like, the vocal choir. Our enemy appears to be quite the formidable Pokemon. Yes, this will be a troublesome foe. Let's discuss it more fully after we return to Lively Town. I thought we were going to have something happen. Technically, something did, but we didn't get to see it. <laughs> Except for Crocodile. Crocodile was there, dropped a tablet. What the hell? Crocodile? Yeah, he was hiding by that rocky cliff near the summit. I told him to stay where he was, but he ran off anyway. He's such a flagrant baddie. I got it. Crocodile is the culprit. He just has to be. So all we have to do is arrest Crocodile and it'll be case closed. We'll be able to eat our meals in peace again. Swellix, you don't seem to be too concerned when you're eating even now. It's true that Crocodile is wicked strong, and he is a notorious crook. You certainly would think nothing of turning Pokemon into stone. But... I've never heard anything at all about Crocodile having the power to turn things to stone. Even if he did have that kind of power, I think he'd be using it for something worse. Maybe he's just so maybe he's just shy, so he doesn't want to use his power in front of others. Anyway, none of this changes the fact that Crocodile is suspicious. I at least know that. I am a genius, after all. Hmm. Ampharos? I don't know whether or not Crocodile is behind this, but let's set that aside for now. After Crocodile ran off, I found a stone tablet. A stone tablet? Yes, a stone tablet with ancient footprint-like writing on it. I plan to shut myself up in my room and investigate this. It may be able to teach us something about those incidents. I see. Understood. Meanwhile, I will leave the deciphering of the stone tablet to you. I think we had also better track down Crocodile. Buzel Archon, can I trust you two to take care of that tomorrow? Roger that. Understood. The rest of you may proceed with your work as usual. Very well then. Dismissed. Why Why is it that there's so many times where it's just like, something's gonna happen, and then nothing happens? It was like Revelation Mountain all over again. The next morning. Give it your all out there, team. Yes, sir. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Crocodile's the one behind it all, I'm sure. There's no doubt about it. What if the one really behind it all is Swirlix? The ultimate evil. That would genuinely be kind of funny. I'm working on deciphering the ancient ta text on the stone tablet, but it's not easy. I'd hope to finish it by the end of the day, but that's looking difficult now. If you're looking for Archon and Buzel, I think they already left to find Crocodile. That won't be the hard part. The real hard part comes with after we catch him. What do we do if Crocodile really is the one behind all this? Considering that if it is Crocodile, he has the power to overwhelm Entei, apparently easily, into stone. Hmm. <laughs> now, now my brain went, well, Crocodile does seem to go on, like, long trips... Because, uh, the other crocodile evolution that wanders around sometimes mentions, Man, crocodile's been missing for a while now. And then he shows up again. So there might be something weird about that. But then that kind of bounces back to Mr. Nuzleaf. And how he also disappears for days at a time. 
but who knows, Mr. Nuzleaf could never have gone underneath the water to turn people to stone. And plus, I think he was with us when, like, Waylord got turned to stone. And he wouldn't be able to fly after Latios and Latias. Although, the idea of a Nuzleaf flying through the sky is hilarious. But remember, everybody, stay hydrated so you don't turn to stone. Leave Crocodile up to Arch and Imbuser. You two just keep on doing your regular work for the Expedition Society, all right? What kind of skill could turn another Pokemon into stone? How is it even possible? Yeah, and like, isn't that basically just death? Like, I know, like, even Power Rangers did it. You turn to stone and then you can magic them back, but I don't know. Anything can happen. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Put away the. Da, 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 da. We'll go open up the box. Manage our. Well, first things first, we'll sell the extra apples that we have. Actually, no, we have so much money, I'm gonna start stocking up on apples, because I think that's what's really gonna be important. Neon, it's another fine day for exploring and expeditions. Though I'd rather be out chasing down Crocodile, if I'm being honest. Also, isn't Crocodile actually being a crook kind of racist? Like, if this was a game that was made in-universe for the Pokemon world, and they're like, oh, they're playing to stereotypes, making a Crocodile a crook, uh. I've heard a rumor that Entei was turned to stone, but is there any truth to it? We didn't tell people? If I stop moving, I start to feel uneasy. So I've decided to keep running. You're gonna get yourself sick again. Open up this hard box. A citrus berry. Neat. Who is down here we've never talked to before? I can smell out hot springs. Good for you. I feel like we might be overreacting a bit. In actual fact, nothing has happened in town so far. Yeah, technically, the sun isn't in town either, yet it's getting closer. Entei was really strong, wasn't he? But even he was not strong enough. What kind of form do you think a Pokemon takes when it's turned to stone? Dead. Why do you suppose they're going after legendary Pokemon? Clout. Hey everybody, uh, this is me, TikTok Lord 35 and we're gonna be turning Entei to stone. They say it's just been legendary Pokemon being targeted recently, but that doesn't mean that we should let our guards down. Waylord was turned to stone. Waylord did get blasted. <laughs> I mean, he's fitting his own stereotype, true. <laughs> also, if this game was a game in the PMD universe, it'd be borderline like Punch-Out with how everyone is fits their stereotypes. That is true. I'm so interested. I'm going to get the power drink. And I'm going to give that a shot for my force palm move. Let's see how that goes. Ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Two apples. Let's see. What do you have to sell, Kecleon? A big apple. We'll take these. Yeah, like I was just <laughs> prepared to all the way to fight a, a boss, and there was just nothing. That might be the most terrifying thing of all. Well, we'll keep the big apple just in case. We'll quickly check down here, see if there's any sparklies. We won't go on a continent run. I don't think. Ah, sparkly. 
Hey, Zora. I can disguise myself as many different Pokemon. Amazed? Everyone is amazed. It's only a matter of time before someone in this town gets attacked next. So you deliver the letter to Roserade? Thank you. All right, we are ready to explore. You want to know him, Mr. Crocodile is? Like I know! Don't you think I'd be right there with him if I did? He just up and disappeared. Come on, out with the truth. Just tell us. It's more important than you know. Well, at least he's loyal. All right, no new ones. Now we just need to look through and see which one I want to do. Hmm. I want to see... Sunny Spot Hill has a lot in it. It's Battle Blastoise, find Curlia, find... Well, find Curlia's item, find Bidoof, defeat Pyroar, and then check out Nidoran's secret base. I think we'll go do Sunny Spot Hill... And, uh, for all the battles that we're gonna be doing... Let's see... I guess I'll take all of my Blast Seeds with me. And since these guys are... not gonna be bosses... Let's see... I guess I'll bring, uh, two Petrify with me. And I believe that this is on the grass continent, so off we go. We'll see if we... <laughs> Let's see if we're ready. So it really happened. Entei really was turned to stone. But that doesn't answer the question why anyone would come here to target him. Also, the question is, if this individual can hop around the continents, how are they doing that? Are they able to get there on their own? Is somebody traveling them across the continents? Do, 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 do. The bottom of the ocean is such a calm place. What if I don't believe you? Quick we glance around. Ah, <laughs> an attack looplet and Blastoise, whom we're going to fight in a moment. What are you selling? I guess we'll buy... ...these. I'll need to remember to use my... ...power-up drink. I glide on the water surface, skit skit. <laughs> you can now go to all these places. Well, let's go to Sunny Spot Hill, the Hell Land. <laughs> We're gonna have Loudred along to help us fight things. And you know what? Let's have uh, Leafeon with us since we will actually. Mm, because we're going to be fighting a Pyroar and Blastoise's gang. So we don't want someone weak to fire or weak to water. bring, like, Corefish along so we could blast down the Pyroar, maybe? Hmm. Let's see. By level. We could bring Tyranitar. 
But his, like, moves are kind of bad. Steel fighting. Hmm. Rock and ground? Blastoise would annihilate you. Hmm. Come along, Keldeo! Let's go beat up some people. Let's go! Sorry! The doof is stupid always running off! Hey, don't insult the boy! Please help! Already we just found a ton of that. Man, it's been a while since we've had Keldeo in the party. It's actually kind of sweet. Do, 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 do. Well, no wonder why Bidoof got lost. There's clones of his friend in here. He's like, oh, is that, is that Loudred? He's like, I'm a Loudred and I'm going to kill you. Oh, that's not Loudred. Love the music. So good. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to use my power up drink. Raise the power of the last move that I used, right? Yeah, last used. <laughs> drink. Force palm was enhanced. I'll go ahead and set Trap Proof, just in case. And the Law Punny. Now coming to fight. And Barrage Guard. I guess I'll go ahead and set that. Just in case. What are you a fighting? Loudred was just making a fuss in the middle of nowhere. Poison guard. I don't think we've ran into anything. Remind me, what do you upgrade? HP? I'll be at the front usually, so... I mostly look in case it, like, raises special attack, because then I'd give it to the boy. Ba -ba -da -ba. Well, that was if something happened. I punch you. Da -da 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 -da. Let's -ha go. <laughs> Just super zoom in. All right, petrify orb. Yeah, smack them all. Oh, that's mean. With the blinker status, the Pokemon can't see it all, so its moves and attacks hit teammates as well as enemies. The status will go away after a while. And then I died. And then Loudred fainted. <laughs> Warped just here. Go ahead and use. I probably should have used another, like, slumber or something. You really shouldn't have done that. Fine then, confusion.
Please die already. At least they're fighting each other. I should be I should have I should use my blast seeds, I think. God, that's such an annoying move. Well, blast seed. At long last. Sure. Oh yeah, alliance moves exist. But at the same time, I think alliance moves wouldn't have been super good. Because it would have uh, potentially put me into poor positioning. At least this confusion lasted forever. And since you're back to normal, I shall now blast you with a blast seed. <laughs> There's nothing left to do but laugh. You are strong. Can I wrap my tentacles around you, weirdo? At least that one is done. Oh, and by Blastoise's introduction. A bunch of water types and Graveler. I think that's more by Golem's introduction than anything. I would not like to escape. Yo, idiot. <laughs> I could move him if I wanted. I probably should have brought more Reviver Seeds. Go ahead and eat these plain seeds to get them out of my inventory. It was that darn earthquake, I think, that did us in for the most part. Then I think this is finding Badoof, which means Loudred will finally be out of our party, so we won't have to worry about him too much. And plus, we'll have good type advantage against Pyroar for the most part. Ba -da -da -da. Come on. Die. And once we also get Loudred out of the party, he won't take up spot. Where my artillery members are supposed to be. There you go. Here's Badoof. How dare you call him an idiot. Oh, I guess I have to talk to him. <laughs> he was like, I don't see Badoof, <laughs> just because I'm talking to him. Screech is also a thing to remember. Also true. I keep forgetting. The earthquake threw me off. Uh, thanks. My stupidity. I completely forgot the voice I gave Badoof back in Explorers. Yep, yep. My stupidity's always causing everybody trouble problems. Don't sweat it. Happens all the time. But if I could... Yep, yep, it's very good. If I could, I wish I could get help from someone other than Loudred. What's that? Are you serious? It's been a bit since I played Explorers, just completely forgot their voices. And luckily, if we just go up against Pyroar, maybe I can cheese him with the Petrify Wand. Oop, and by Loudred's introduction. 
Bibaril. <laughs> what is that? Bidoof's mom evolved? Again, that's more like Bidoof's introduction. No, we want to continue. Hey, Loudred, we thought you just left. Power Boost X, hell yeah. And now I'm going to punch you. How dare you be a speedy bear. Apparently a very powerful speedy bear. How dare. Do, 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 do. Ba -da 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 -da. Let's get my health back a little bit. Yes. Okay, against Pyroar, we'll definitely have a good opportunity to, like, uh, use, like, Alliance Attack and the Wand. I wish I could inspire my allies to get out of sleep and confusion and stuff like they can for me. I want to return the favor. Ba -ba -da, da -da 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 -da. Emra Dust. You dare hit my friend. Die. <laughs> It's like I've no I've no time for this runs away. Ba -ba -da -da -da. And I'll have that just in case. Clutch performer, what do you increase? Speed, definitely. Guard boost, definitely. The music is just so good. Super critical, why not? Oh, hey, uh, aren't you on the verge of death? Oh, you're a different one. Now you're healed. Either or, really. <laughs> he has three apples. Apple. Apple and Apple. Just the ultimate selection here in the dungeon. Probably eat an apple. I'm saving the big apple for these kinds of dungeons as an emergency thing. Ow. Hmm. Do we need to give... Ah, uh, it's probably... Let me quickly sexy. We'll go ahead and give that to you, just because we can. You kill him. The Encore has been demanded. The Pokemon can only use the move it mo mo most recently used. For some reason, my brain wanted to say the move it used most recently. I don't know why. Although it can freely use items if the Pokemon hadn't used a move, the Encore won't work. Sleep Guard. What stat do you increase? HP? Yes, please. Oh, and a level up. Neat. But we also want to keep a Petrify Orb on hand in case that Nidoran is going to take us to a monster house instead of for tea. 
We need to be careful. Here is the floor where Nidoran is waiting. Well, at least we won't have to make the choice between it or... Pyroar. Not the scary face! And I shall <laughs> use an elixir on myself before we get to any room and abducted. Oh, hey. I didn't know Zoro were in here. Because any room, any room could be it. And this is the room. There's a lot of items. Welcome to my home. Let me introduce you to my family. Are you going to mug me? Okay, no, it's an actual family. Nidoran introduced its friends to Neon and had a great time. And put me here, I think... Like... If I hadn't, like, been teleported, I wouldn't get that Imura. Nice. After all the talk, I just realized I hadn't properly introduced myself. I'm Nidoran, the younger sister. I'm Nidorina, the elder sister, and I care dearly for my little sister. I'm Nido Queen, the mother. You thought it was going to be a monster house, didn't you? <laughs> I kind of did. Well, it wasn't like I was expecting it to be, but I was worried that it would be. Even though it's only happened once. Every other time has been actual meeting people. But you never know. All it takes is one. Dizzying stare. Let's replace Barrage Guard. Ba -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Do I want to replace something? Eh, we can replace trap proof. We haven't run into any traps. Watch our. It happened again! I was going to immediately say, watch it happen again, and it did. Luckily, the traps in this game aren't terrible, because if the traps were like Rescue Team, trap-proof every single day. But, well, that's just mean, but it's Screech. So we'll only do, put one on when we go to the, ah, oh, there's somebody up ahead notification, which I think will be this dungeon floor, because I think it was like, said that it was uh, the sixth floor that had something. Wand expert, I believe, gives health. Uh, gives attack. Always nom. I keep forgetting. My memory is not good for these, like, small specifics. But yeah, like, at least the traps in this game are not that bad. The traps in this game are not that bad. I don't think we need any, like, worry, so actually we'll give, the, give it to you. Jesus Christ, there's so much Emera dust. How many Emeras died here? Let's see. Honestly, come back. But it's funny because, if I remember correctly, traps, like, took a big dive in difficult. When a Pokemon is cursed, the eight Pokemon's HP will decrease rapidly. The states will go away after a while. If the Pokemon gets cursed again while it's already cursed, the number of turns until it recovers starts over. Well, that's mean. Die. Let's try to get out of here. So, basically, it's... Well, that's just mean. Do I have any orange berries? No idea why Gabriel is walking away. And I'm just going to assume... 
Let me see, does the boy need an elixir as well? Just in case, yes. Oh, it wasn't the sixth floor. I thought it was. Oh, Curlius Treasure. Neat. Because I know Pyroar is still in here somewhere. Hey, a level up for Gabriel. Ah, and he wants to learn a new move. It's Lucky Chant. Blocks party from taking critical hits. That rarely seems to happen. And I like to have him just have a bunch of attack moves. So, goodbye, Lucky Chant. I'll just punch you to death. Grab this. Uh, I already have super critical plays, but... Oh, don't want to do that. I want to set. We can give it to the boy. Huzzah! The connection orb started shining. Like she automatically knew what we found. Oh, you found my pipe bomb! I was going to send it to Hatsune Miku. Went up by a hundred. Huzzah. I would not like to escape. For there is still a Pyroar we need to beat the shit out of. God damn it. Hmm, clairvoyance. I don't think I want to give up anything for it. Well, let me quickly see. Uh, two guard boosts, but the dungeon is almost over for the most part. So I'm just going to get that HP bonus. Do I have, like, uh, did I find a P.E.K.K.A. seed in here anywhere? No, I found a Chesto, but that's for sleep. Well, that's just mean. How dare. Quit tickling, you bastard. At least all my stats get reset upon floor going up or down. Imagine if they didn't. If stats were like Imara's. God, that would be terrifying. Because then the, like, stat reset blocks would be very important. Punch. And what was the emerald that we found there? Hell yeah! Now that is worth losing a guard boost for. God damn it. I need to preserve my health. Because it's going down by poison. You know, I wonder why poison specifically stops healing. Let's see, do I have a... I do not. Do I have nothing, so... We move along damaged. What the fuck? How'd that hit me? Well, at least it's on charge now. Jesus! Okay, you are confused. 
Jesus Christ, Hyper Beam is scary. I'm not going to use my Alliance attack, because if it's confused, it could fire it at any point. Nightmare. It was spamming Hyper Beam like crazy. How did you defeat me? You are really cool. I like you a lot. Just utterly annihilated me with a hyper beam. I thought it would be like a fire attack. <laughs> Poison stops healing because burn also cuts your attack, and Pokemon likes to make similar kinds of statuses similarly threatening. True, it's just the fact that, like, you'd think that burn would be the thing that, like, stops like healing and poison like oh it makes you weak I don't know Pyro is also half normal type hence hyper beam <laughs> also get stab on it looks like you've earned a reward good job Hi heading back to lively town oh yeah that's the first time we did a mission all across the continent Sorry to keep you all waiting. Dinner's ready! Archon and, uh, Archon and Buzel aren't back, huh? Huh? Where are Archon and Buzel? They aren't back from their expedition to find Crocodile yet. Mawile isn't here either, is she? Yeah, she's still <laughs> deciphering. She's still shut up in her room. Seems like she it's taking her some time to decipher the ancient writing. Shall we go ahead and eat? What? Aren't you going to wait? But I'm hungry! It's alright, isn't it, Chief? Yeah, I'm famished. What? You're yeah, right! Well then, let's eat! We're back! Buzel, Archin. I'm glad you made it. And time for dinner, huh? But first, Chief, we've been out looking for Crocodile. He doesn't seem to be anywhere around here, so it took us a while. We went and checked out Crocodile's place, too, and we found a half a written warning letter. So he was spread- he was spreading them around. Well, that's what I was kind of thinking. Like, cuz... Cuz at first I thought that he was using, like, the stone tablet as, like, a base to quickly make them. Somehow, I don't know. But... He was making them by hand? So is, that's why, is that why he's been disappeared for so long? He was just at his house, handwriting warning letters? So does that... Is he literally Muna 2.0, where he's working with the big bad, and he's like, Oh, this world is rotten, so I'm gonna help this guy murder legendaries, and I'll write these warning letters. What? At Crocodile's place? A half-written warning letter? So that means Crocodile was the one writing those warnings, right? Was Crocodile there? No, he wasn't. It was deserted. We have no idea where he could have gone to. So it looks like Crocodile really is the one behind all this. Yeah, we need to find him as soon as possible. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Mawile! I finished deciphering the stone tablet. What did it say? It was a record of the incidents of Pokemon being turned to stone. Well, that more than clenches it. Hmm. Huh. I'm trying to think. So why would Crocodile be carrying around a hand-carved stone using ancient lettering to basically like, uh, cryptify the records of Pokemon being turned to stone. And he's making warning letters. It would be one thing if it was like he somehow knew who was doing it and literally was making warnings to let people have a better chance. But why is he making... Or is it... Maybe it's... Because Crocodile has had no real personality aside from being a jerk. Same thing with his little minion. 
Huh. Weird. Turn to stone, you say? Yes. Although I can't claim to have deciphered every last bit of it, Pokemon being turned to stone has apparently been happening for some time. It seems there are more detailed accounts in the prehistoric ruins to the east. Oh! The prehistoric ruins to the east! Maybe we can find how Pokemon are being turned to stone if we check it out! That's not all. There's a chance we may be able to find out how to reverse the process. To turn those Pokemon back from stone? I see. The prehistoric ruins, you say? It seems that we're going to be quite busy, however. We should probably eat. Was that someone's... Was that someone's stomach growling? Again! Well, well, well. Everyone seems to have no choice. Yeah, Chief, I can see you drooling. We can't talk on... We can't take in an empty stomach lightly, can we now, Dedene? I like a unique... They have a unique icon for him there. You can't do anything when your belly's empty, after all. We're going to be quite busy. But before that, let's eat! Notable, too, is the tablet is an ancient stone tablet. Because that is one thing I was thinking, was because... Could it, like... Because my thought process is, could this be like a prophecy? Or like a list of instructions to do something? Like if these legendaries are turned to stone in this order. Or maybe it's like a prophecy saying these Pokemon are going to be turned to stone in this order. Maybe? But then the real question is, like, why... What? Because... There's two weird things with it, is that Crocodile had the stone tablet on him and apparently could read it. And he was also writing the warnings. So it's almost like he was decrypting the ancient stone tablet and writing warnings. So it's possible that, like, Like, I don't know. Either he's a bad guy, but the, uh, it wouldn't be a bad guy, because, hmm, I don't know. It's entirely possible that Entei had already been turned to stone by the time the warnings had been placed. So, like, I don't know. Because Crocodile would need to know when, where, and who for all the being turned to stone. It's weird. Hmm. What Mawile was implying was that this happened before. True. But it's still weird that, like, I don't know, it's like... But then why would Crocodile be carrying it around? And how would he know when and where Entei was going to be turned to stone? Because I refuse to believe that Crocodile is the final boss of this game. He's just not. <laughs> so that's weird. Huh. The prehistoric ruins to the east. According to Mawile, if we go there... We might be able to turn Pokemon back from stone. Poor old Entei. And Latios and Latias. It sure would be make me happy if they weren't stone anymore. While we're standing here talking, even more Pokemon could be getting turned to stone. It would be huge if we found a way to turn them back. Alright! Let's do this! It's off to the prehistoric ruins tomorrow! At least I think that's what's gonna happen. Let's go to bed early to get rested up for tomorrow. It's just very interesting. The story is definitely picking up. And I think we'll do, like, one more dungeon run. If this is, like, the prehistoric ruins or expedition as we... Well, that's weird. First dead in there, yeah. Hmm... It looks like she isn't here yet. It's not like her to be late for morning roll call. <laughs> I mean, if Grovile was one big badass twist ally, Crook could be anything, says Twitch <laughs> chat. Like, maybe, it's just, it's weird. <laughs> Are you winning? I guess we found more information, it's just the information boggles the mind. 
Well, let's go ahead and get started. After what we discussed yesterday, I'm sure you all know what's coming. My brain just went, please don't make Dedene into a traitor. Because Dedene has not been going with us on anything. She is a communications officer. She doesn't live at the guild. <laughs> Did you figure out who the stoner was? It is, it can't be Crocodile. I just, I refuse to believe that he's the final boss. Like... Maybe a weird reverse Muna, but I don't know. The time has come for us to head out on an expedition to the prehistoric ruins. We're after any information regarding these incidents of Pokemon being turned to stone. We can expect this to be a dangerous expedition, but it is of utmost importance. I need you all to stay on your toes. Everybody, this is awful. Just awful! On my way here, heard someone say they had seen Crocodile. What? Crocodile? Where is he, was he seen? The Pokemon who told me said they saw him while they were traveling. It seems he was headed for Serene Village. Well, that's not good at all. Huh? Serene Village? Isn't Serene Village where you guys used to live? I see. I thank you for that information, Dedene. Now, why would he be going to Serene Village? Because he can't be the Pokemon who's turning Pokemon to stone. He ran away. Granted, it was weird that he was carrying the stone tablet with him. I did make the comparison that Crocodile, like, constantly went on, like, multi-day disappearances. But that could have been him riding up the... Warning things. But why would he be going to Serene Village? My brain throws out what if Crocodile and Nuzleaf are, like, part of a conspiracy. That, like, maybe a good conspiracy? Like, they're like, ah, oh, we have to stop this ancient thing from happening again. I have no idea. Actually, that would be crazy. I'll make a fanfic where the big bat at the end is an Azuril. <laughs> Me Make it an alternate universe where it's like the Azuril from Explorers who was consumed by the Nightmare and became soulless or something. Thank you for that information, Dedene. Very well. I'd intended for us all to go together to the prehistoric ruins, but it seems a change of plans is in order. We'll have, we'll have a Crocodile Pursuit Squad and a Prehistoric Ruins Expedition Squad. Let's split into two groups. First up, those who will go after Crocodile, Gabriel Neon. Will you two please go? Yep, of course. Thanks, Ampharos. If he's headed for Serene Village, I need Pokemon who know the lay of the land. And also, I'm sure you must be worried about your loved ones in Serene Village. Well, I knew we were going to head back to Serene Village, but I have no idea what's going to happen. Everything's crazy. However, it's far too dangerous to send just the two of you. You want... Yeah, you want Mawile to go on the prehistoric squad because archaeology. Archon, I'm counting on you. Roger that. Mawile, Dedene, Buzel, and Bunnelby, please head for the ruins. Hey, Dedene is actually going on a mission. You'll need Bunnelby for whatever excavations become necessary. I suspect Buzel's skills will also come in handy considering the location. And Dedene, I'd like you to go this time as well. Should you find any information about the stone Pokemon, please contact me. Or Gabriel, post-haste. We need to consider that Gabriel and Neon may have to battle Crocodile. We may need to find... We need to find out as much as we can before it comes to that. Understood, Chief. Jirachi, Swirlix, and I will hold down the fort. Based upon information received from Dedene, I will give orders from here on out. Please follow them. Gabriel, Neon? I heard about Crocodile from a Pokemon called Nosepass. He's probably still by the gates of Lively Town, so go talk to him. Didn't we talk to a nose pass? At one point, I forget. Got it, thanks. Very well then, everyone. A smooth exchange of information will be the key to our success this time. Focus on teamwork and give it your all out there. Well, looks like it's the same group that found Latios after he was turned to stone. Man. Latias is just dead meat, I guess. This could be tricky. Let's do our best. Okay. Dedene said she heard about Crocodile from Nosepass. Let's head to Lively Town's gate and look for Nosepass first. 
I love how when push comes to shove, Amphros is a very strategic and well-informed about how to plan things out. He's not a very... Uh, he's just... He's not just a very goofy guy. He's like a crouching moron, hidden badass. You guys! You gotta promise me you'll be careful out there, okay? I'll have the most delicious meal in the world waiting for when you get back! Well, I, I have no idea what's going on with, uh... Crocodile, none whatsoever. <laughs> Be careful on your travels today. We can hope Crocodile wasn't really headed for Serene Village, but... I have no idea what's gonna happen. Good luck! And if Crocodile really is the one behind all this, well, at least we can finally learn how he's turning Pokémon into stone. Thank you, you're hoping I'd be turned to stone. He's the dashing wonder. He's the eighth dashing wonder of the world. Make sure you're ready for anything. We definitely need more elixirs, reviver seeds. I guess I'll take an extra Big Apple. Some Orin Berries for emergency. Elixirs. Anything special selling? You all take care. Didn't will send anything we learn about the, uh, the turning into stone incidents. I'll let you know as soon as we know anything, anything at all. Do your best out there. Crocodile is a real bad egg. If he really is the one behind this, any ability that would allow someone to turn po other Pokemon to stone is trouble. I know it's asking a lot, but we've got to find a way to stop that too. Neon, we have to catch Crocodile. Let's go to Lively Town's gate. But I wanted to go to see Mama King is gone. Oh, heading out all together today? That's quite the outing. The members of the Expedition Society seem quite agitated today. Is there something we should know about? Invasion. That's right, Neon. We just might have to go to Serene Village. If that's the case, it'll be a long journey. So we'd better get ready first. I think so, totally. All right, let's get going. I should have... I actually should have brought more, like, uh... I do have a Petrify Wand, so things should be good. Oh, that snow's pass over there. I'll go ask about Crocodile. Crocodile, you say? I certainly did pass him earlier. Where? At the Sheer Mountain Range. After I left Serene Village and got to the Sheer Mountain Range, Crocodile was just heading in the other direction. So I suspect Crocodile was headed for Serene Village. Did you notice anything funny when you passed by him? Anything would help, if you can think of anything. Mm, let's see, he was mumbling to himself. Something about, I'll get you for this. You seem to be in quite a foul mood. Well, that's not good. Huh, he said he was going to get somebody. He may be holding a grudge against someone in Serene Village. Someone from the village? If that's the case, the village is in trouble. We have to hurry. Thanks, Nosepass. Oh my, you certainly seem flustered. At least we know where he went. We have to catch him, all right? Why did we pull back? And why was there no... Why did we pull back? What? I'm worried now. Chapter 16, The Sealed Spring. Oh, we, we, we're not even going through the sheer mountain range. We're just here. We finally made it to Serene Village. Is everybody doing all right? Huh. Well, uh, at least nothing happened yet. We can warn them we thought something was happening. What? It doesn't look like anything's changed. It doesn't look particularly damaged. Oh, Neon and Gabriel. Esper! Welcome home. How have you been? I heard some things about you two. You got into the Expedition Society, right? Congratulations, you two. We did, thanks. 
before we get into all that... Uh, we need your help, Esper. Have any suspicious Pokemon come through here? A red guy with a mean look and a big mouth. A mean-looking red Pokemon? No, I haven't seen him. Really? That's odd. Maybe he didn't come through here. What's the deal with that red Pokemon? Oh, well, um, the thing is... We're in trouble, I reckon. Big trouble, I reckon. Mr. Nuzleaf! Huh? Why, if it ain't Gabriel and Neon, what are you doing here? Never mind, never you mind, no time for that now. To Revelation Mountain! Some Pokemon I never seen before is invading! What? But Revelation Mountain is our village's most sacred place. No one is supposed to go in there. I reckon you're right. It was my turn to guard the gate today. From out of nowhere, this real ornery looking Pokemon, he broke right on through the gate and headed up to the mountain. What? It all happened in the blink of an eye. I was sure was scared. I couldn't even move. And then I came looking for help. I've got a pretty good idea what's going on here. I'm Archon, from the Expedition Society. Can you describe the Pokemon to us? Well, let's see, he was red. Looked ornery as could be. He sure did look like a crook, I reckon. No doubt about it. C crocodile But what is he here for? Well, we've got no time to sit here and theorize about it now. Show us the way. All right, this way. I'm going too. You can't, Esper. Sorry, it's just that our opponent here is a really dangerous Pokemon, so you should wait here. Oh yeah, Esper, you can use telepathy, right? If we don't make it back, contact Amphros in Lively Town with your telepathy and let him know. Amphros is our chief at the Expedition Society. Thanks. Gotta run! Are you gonna follow anyway? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Chekhov's Mountain, exactly. Jesus, he broke it down. Wow, the gate really is smashed. Nuzleaf is filling me in along the way, and he says the past here lies some unknown secret the village Pokemon have been guarding forever. That could be what Crocodile is after. Anyhow, I reckon we should hurry. I'm gonna feel, this is gonna be like actual, The this is gonna be like, Chekhov's Mountain, now this is gonna be actual Revelation Mountain. This is where all the revelations are gonna come to be. Ah, oh, shit, it's you. You scary motherfucker. Hmm. I'll punch this guy while we wait for the Phantom Force to activate. Oh, I wanted to use it. I understand why it defaults to no, but still. Hey, a Blast Seed for the boss fight that's going to be happening, probably. I find it funny that a lot of bird types, or not bird types, flying types, are also normal. God damn you, you fucker. Okay, you know what? I have Petrify Wand. I say, fuck off. <laughs> I do not want to deal with your bullshit, Driplum. To hell with you. Where you supposedly drag people. To hell with you. Every time we run into a Driplum now, I am going to use my wand so they leave me alone. Is this where divine revelations happen as well? No idea. Huh. 
Huh, confusion guard. What do you upgrade? HP? Yoink. Definitely need to upgrade my health. Get confused, idiot. No. Wait, I need to remember, I have the wands. Well, I have, like... I'm gonna let you come to me. I'm going to uh, petrify you, because you are ugly and I hate you. Ba -da -da -da, da -da. Guess I'll have Alliance Expert. Distance dodge, not so much. Increases speed, definitely want. Because, like, it can't just be straight up that Crocodile is actually a bad guy. There has to be, like, something extra going on, right? But then why would he be muttering, I'm going to get you back for this? How did he get the stone tablet? How could he read it? What is his goal plan? He made the warnings. Like, something... I don't know. I, like... I don't know. Could he even read the tablet? I just feel like something else is going on. Other than just that he's a bad guy. Another paralysis guard. Or at least another guard type. Info increases HP. Nom. So many questions, huh? Exactly. Fucking Drifblum. Well, that's bullshit. I hate m and move. W Fuck off, game. I don't like room wide bullshit. Let me paralyze this motherfucker. Die. We picked up an orange berry. Okay, petrify again. Get into position. Nom. Damn you. Nom. Just dropped a normal bracelet. But yeah. Room-wide moves are just shenanigans. What I hate. You could have chosen any other move. You just used one that sent me slightly down. That's ah, just a pedove. I just want to make sure that there aren't any, like, good Emeras in any of these rooms. Hmm. What is a Pounce Wand, anyway? Oh, jump at it. I wonder why I would want to jump at a wall. Let the pedo rest. I adore how this game's plot plays out with so many twists and turns. It is a very interesting experience so far. And, like, there is that charm that they are, like, making it different from the past, ex like, Explorers Rescue Team and even GTI. 
just making it an interesting, unique experience is very, very nice. Oh, you motherfucker. Petrify. You utter bastard. At least we uh, replaced one. Reviver Seed. To whom decide to make the RNG-based Omni Boost moves make both room wide and have a chance to boost for everyone they hit? Fuck you! I didn't even realize that it was a chance-based, like booster on top of all that too. That is shenanigans. Also, pounce wants are extremely good if you are playing optimally because you can save turns since it takes your whole uh, nearby party with you. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, look, it's Archon's future. Punch. Punch. Yeah, lay the smack down on him. Well, I guess we'll go and move out. But at least we'll probably be finding out what the secret of this place is. But the real thing is, is like, last time we got here, there was like a whole squad of boss monsters guarding the la like the second gate. So like. Then again, maybe that's the thing, that, like, uh, the Sheriff, Paula Rath, everybody else is gonna get owned by Crocodile somehow. Which is just gonna be shocking. Like, why would he run away from Mawile, but lay the other smack down on... Other Pokemon. Just seems like a an odd decision for him. Then again, we don't know his goals. Ah, shit, not you. Might come back for that. Like I said, we've come back for that. Hmm. Let me quickly see. How are my moves doing? I guess I can quickly do that. Because that's the main thing is like, we don't know anybody's motives, we don't really know anybody's secrets. There are so many mysteries going on. Like, for all intents and purposes, we know nothing about Nuzleaf. At least that my, like, random theory of them both being, like, a part of a secret conspiracy to stop the turning of Pokemon to stone uh, immediately got thrown out the window because... Then again, maybe he's lying. Who knows? He wanted to go up to see the... Revelation of the mountain. Just like, what even is? What even is any? Just making sure I don't have, like, room for any of those wands. 
or like if they're a petrify that can just get stacked, which is a cool mechanic, being able to stack the wands of the same type on top of each other like they are stones is very cool. Because if that's one thing this game has done, though, is, like, the ability to just inject, like, mystery. Unparalleled. I have no idea where anything is going. Special defense. Hmm. I guess me. I'm always the one taking the most damage. Yeah, my bite upgraded. It's been a while since that got upgraded. Go ahead and give it to you as well. We'll leave these guys alone. No need to waste our resources. Oh, Emra up orb? I'm not you. That's so mean. Petrify. Numb. That's just my fear base is just like, just in case, petrify. Status mirror, don't really care. Increase the speed, very important. Alright, we'll definitely swap a small elixir for you. I'm just wondering where things are gonna go. Because, again, there's the fact that we, a human, were brought here to the Pokemon world. There's the Behem. There's the discontent is on the rise Mwahaha voice. There's the tree. Gabriel being an orphan alongside the fact that he was swaddled in magical, like... Swaddled in magical scarves that are connected to a magical tree that allow for full evolution. Under certain circumstances, then the magic tree was apparently being corrupted by the darkness. God, there's so many of these tropiuses. Good. Leads me down the Imra dust path. Of course you tell. Oh, well, it killed that, so hey. The master plan, that was. Totally planned that. Not you! You, you, you take this. What the fuck? Guessing he gotten KO'd. What the? That shouldn't be a thing, game. I can't even see him. You bastard. Ominous wind is a bullshit move. Hmm, I wonder if I just go to the next floor, will you be revived? 
fine, I'll go revive him. I don't know what would happen. He's story important, so I doubt anything, but still. Ah! Well, he bashed through the boss monsters. That their gate's been broken too! You alright, Sheriff? Yes, thank you. We seem to be okay somehow. What in the world happened here? We were suddenly attacked, BP. He took us all out and smashed right through the gate. He went farther along, Grath. What did he look like? A red guy with a big mouth, BB. It's Crocodile. We will be okay. It is more important for you to pursue him. Please stop that Pokemon. We're on it. Come on, we have to hurry. Alliance attacks could also be good for things. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting as well. Okay, thank God. <laughs> How dare you have ranged moves and you just be a bastard about it. Fuck off. And of course there's an explosion tile. Oh, but it doesn't work. Okay, hilarious. How dare you spawn me in a room with three assholes. Ah, uh, poison guard? Might as well beat him up just to get it. To eat it. What is if all the Tropius in here? At least my dizzying stare is consistent against these guys. Hmm, wand expert. I don't think I've ever read. Uh, oh, span out to others. Hmm. I don't think I've been using it, like, against, like... And I don't know if he has, like, his minions with him, so... Plus, increasing my attack. Doodly-doo. I definitely need to remember to do my alliance attacks more. I punch you. And then I bite you. Always keep my artillery up. Interesting that my allies don't go for money when my inventory is otherwise full. I think it's in their programming, like, only go after items with inventory space, but money is not an inventory space item, but they don't seem to care. <laughs> it began to hail, except for ice Pokemon. All Pokemon won't restore HP naturally and will gradually take damage. Except for me. Oh, I just I just read that. It's like attacks from afar won't hit, and then they do. Hmm, warp seed, don't care. So we probably need to skedaddle out of here. As quickly as possible, if we can find the exit. Not really a stick around and find things dungeon room. You have a very straightforward attack go burr style of play, play and thinking. Yeah. It also doesn't help that I. Yeah, so many things. You also have dizzy and stare. For maximum dizzy. Let's 
Status mirror. Nah. Increase my speed, though. At least I, the one who takes all the damage, am immune to the... weather, thanks to my looplet. But yeah, when it comes to games that have, like, the potential to just be simple slam, slam, slam... I do kind of lean towards that, and then it's like, ah, the difficulty ramps up, or they expect you to use strategy. Power boost Y for the boy! Yeah, because just like with the wands and stuff, there doesn't seem to be like a lot of immediate application to them. And then when it gets later where there is application for them in niche situations, I just forget that they exist. Same thing with like the alliance attack. Even though it's just like uh, restricted by your belly, I just keep forgetting to use it. Super critical? Sure. And a power boost Y! Huzzah! Nom. It's also probably why I don't really use, like, this that, like, uh, brings down the enemies like, stat things, because, like, why bring down their stats when you can just bring them down by beating them to death? I don't know, the, like, the value between just smack them down to weaken them first, then smack them down. Ah, we avoided all the enemies. Thank you, Big Ears. At least I think it's Big Ears. Oh, what information have you gotten? The Unmarchant took out their expedition gadgets. This is the Prehistoric Ruins Expedition Team. Do you read? I reckon I'm hearing voices. It's Dedenay's voice you're hearing. Dedenay can talk to far weak Pokemon through the expedition gadgets. Dedenay, I read you. Archon here. Archon, good to hear your voice. What's the situation where you are? We're climbing Revelation Mountain now. Still in pursuit of Crocodile. Revelation Mountain? Sorry, we have to keep moving. I'll fill you in on the details later. How are things there? Everything's going smoothly here. It looks like we've made it quite far. Wait, it looks like Bunnelby has found something. What? Someone's he there? Several of them? Huh? All of a sudden... Yeah! Well, that's not good. Hey, Dedene! What's going on, Dedene? Cut off. What just happened? I'm worried. Could it have been... Well, Crooked... Hmm. It could... I don't know, because Crocodile said I'll get you for this, but could it be in relation to the Pokemon that's turning other Pokemon on stone? I don't know. It certainly is worrying, but we're here at Revelation Mountain. It's impossible for us to go help them now. Besides, their team's not that soft. They've got Beuza with them, and more importantly, Mawile. Mawile is strong. They'll be all right. Just believe in them. Hmm. The most important thing right now is stopping Crocodile anyway. If we let him get away, he'll pose a danger to us all. Stay sharp and keep moving. To use Screech as an example, a Screech and Force Palm is better than two Force Palms. Ah, good to know. Hmm. I guess I wouldn't... Wouldn't mind to do that. Go ahead and eat that apple. And 
close with my multiple allies here. You bastard, how dare. And he took the biggest apple, too. Yeah, we'll let that guy sleep. He's not a threat to us. Goddamn Tropius. It's always Tropius. <laughs> Dedene said several. That's what I'm thinking, because just like, they went to the ruins... But, like, there's not... Like, at first I thought maybe, like, other Pokemon had been turned to stone and they're, they were being kept in the boat that ruins there that they went to. But then they got jumped, so who knows, honestly. Intimidator, always good. Oh, chat talk just died. Tiny Reviver Seed, let's see. Uh, swap out with this looplet. At this point, money is no material to me. I already have all the passes. There doesn't seem to be anything majorly expensive that we can buy. Uh, nothing in this room, so we'll skip it. And more importantly for Mystery Dungeon, of course, you're not the only one who's uh, going to benefit from defense drop. That's true. It's just that, like, with these ones, like uh, GTI and stuff, I fell into a habit. Because, like, before, in Rescue Team and stuff... I had, uh, like, uh, Tail Whip linked to my other attacks so that I would be constantly dropping their defense and stuff while attacking them. And then they removed linking. And I just fell out of the habit. And hail again. Big ears, we already have it. Another big ears. And we'll give it to you, increase your HP a little bit. Pile of Emerald Dust is not overly worth dealing with Hail for longer than we need to. Ah, oh, fucking course. Come on, come closer. Alright, Petrify. Oh, it failed. Well, it died anyway, so... That was the first time that my a wand has failed me. You dare game? Of course, right as I got to it. Let's go along. So yeah, like... What is happening with this story? Just wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. We'll go ahead and use a big apple. Let's try to not wake up the bastard. Ah, of course you wake the bastard. God, you're an annoying bastard right now. Fuck off! I genuinely fuck off right now, game. Room-wide things just should not exist. I fucking swear.
And of course he fainted. Because <laughs> this game's being a bastard right now. Okay, first things first. Petrify. And you know what? Let's go ahead and blast you. Not gonna risk missing on you. Fuck off game, you fucker! Die already! God damn you! Driftblum should just not be in this game. And why the hell is like, stop getting fainted, you bastard. I probably have no reviver seeds left. Just like room wide moves should just not be a thing unless they have like really low accuracy. I'm fairly certain that I have missed more, like, should be slightly guaranteed moves than that room wide thing. We've only been here for one dungeon. Trap proof. When you raise HP, I'll raise the HP of the boy. Hmm, sleep payback. Wouldn't be bad to have, honestly. Let's see. I think I'll keep Alliance Expert and get rid of Super Critical because those are rare. Rarer. Berry, nice to have. And then, numb. You motherfucker. Why are you so fast, you bastard? Stop being unhittable, you ghost man. We've climbed quite a ways, but there's still been no sign of Crocodile. I can hardly see through all the trees. Oh, there's some light over there. I reckon there could be just a clearing just there. Let's go check it out! Definitely a clearing, but it's a lot. <laughs> From Twitch chat, I recommend ending stream the next opportunity to say, by the way, you're pushing past three hours and you'll see. I was planning on stopping after the next dungeon thing, whether it was expedition or story. I thought we were going to go to the prehistoric ruins, but here we go. Over there! A pyramid? Oh, it's a, a pyramidal force field over a pond, and there's a stone. What in the world is that? There's something mysterious about it. Mystical, even. Read the da, read the, read the D. I want to read the D. And still, no sign of Crocodile. I reckon I see something in there. Is it a time gear? Water springing up from the ground. Is this a spring? Is this crystal looking thing here to protect the spring? It does look that way to me. Yeah, read it. What's this? Now, there's a stone tablet. It does not lost on me that Nuzleaf wanted to find out what was the top here. But it, Crocodile definitely attacked everybody. Hmm. I reckon it's pretty old. Is this going to reveal, like, a secret of me? Like, why I'm here? Is it going to reveal of a, a secret of Crocodile? A secret of Gabriel? A secret of... Nuzleaf? Who knows? Looks like there's something written on it, though. This writing! I've seen this before in Mawile's room! Isn't this foot-shaped ancient writing? Ancient foot-shaped? Who's on the what now? Ancient writing. This looks really tough to decipher, too. 
I can read it. I really can. You? Really? Yep, you want me to read it for you? Let's see. Should you hope to overcome? Hang on a second! It took them all while our resident archaeologist tons of time to decipher that writing. How are you able to stand there and read it like it's no big deal? I have no clue. I couldn't tell you how, but I can read it. Well, I'll be an A-Palm's uncle. I reckon we should be grateful you can read that there writing. You should be go on reading. Okay. There are three lines here. Let's see. Should you hope to overcome this crisis, summon a person. A person will have the power to break the barrier over the spring. You must summon a person from the world of humans. So it is a secret about me. Okay, so... I get summoned, I get chased by Behem. I get chased by the Behem into Mr. Nuzleaf. But at the same time, Mr. Nuzleaf kind of acted angry that I was roping him into things. And he was conflicted on taking me, but eventually his, his empathy worn out. Then later, he told us about Revelation Mountain and wanted to seek it out to see if it had anything to do with me. Apparently it does. Right? Then again, why is Gabriel able to read this? Huh. Alright, well... Uh, but the question is, why is there writing here saying, if you want to over... If you want to overcome the crisis, you must summon a person to break this barrier over the spring, but why is there a barrier over the spring? Got that? Summon a person from the world of humans? I reckon they mean human when they say person, right? You must summon a person from the world of humans. Could it be? That's me. It has to be. And the barrier over the spring must be... This thing, right? It says a human can break the barrier here. And that other one? Should you hope to overcome this crisis, summon a person? Well, when you think on it, a spell, this here ancient message, would have you believe we can save the world if we get a human to break the barrier. But at the same time, I don't know, I, do, I don't know. No, I don't. Because it's just... Where is Crocodile? He was in front of us, broke down all the gates. Why is the village, like, hiding this? Why is there a... Why is the spring, like, closed? Is there, like, a Celebi sleeping in there? But what could there be inside the spring that would help the crisis that somebody would want to seal away that could only be broken open by a human? How can Gabriel read the writing? Why did Mr. Nuzleaf want to come here beforehand... Why is this, the, like, the village? I don't know. The behem, everything. At least I reckon that's what it means. In other words, there's a crisis closing in on us here in our world. Somebody must have known about that there crisis and called in me on here. Hang on a second. That does sound believable. But this wasn't written recently, right? Somebody left this here for us a long, long time ago. But at the same time, Crocodile also got the ancient writing tablet. It would be hilarious if Gabriel being able to read was never explained. That would be funny. Why is this happening again in our time? Dedene, are you alive? Neon and Archon took out their expedition gadgets. Prehistoric Ruins expedition team here. Do you read? It's Dedene! Crocodile pursuit team here! Dedene, are you alright? Yeah, don't worry about us. We're all fine. I don't trust that too much. But at the same time, they need Dedene to be able to communicate, so it has to be. Unless ditto. Weren't you attacked by something? Yeah, but it looks like it was just a misunderstanding on their part. Huh. That is either on it, like, <laughs> the two off possibilities. That is a lie, or it is true. A misunderstanding? Yeah. Oh! We actually get to see! Good! The Pokémon who attacked us are guardians of these ruins. 
They were just trying to protect the ruins. They thought we were here to raid the ruins for treasure, so they attacked us. That makes sense. Like, the Ditto was protecting the, his treasure. Gabite was protecting his treasure. Yeah, okay. As soon as we explained the purpose of our expedition, they understood. Is that right? That's a relief. We were worried when we lost contact with you. Sorry about that, Gabriel. We didn't have time to talk. Oh, and one more thing. We learned something amazing from these Pokemon here at the ruins. They told us... What did you just say? They said there's a way to bring Pokemon back from being turned to stone? Yep. If you have some special wa- Huh. Why is the spring under prison guard? If it's good for this. I guess maybe because if whatever was turning Pokemon to stone wanted to make sure it was permanent, it would attack the spring? But how does Crocodile function into this? How does Gabriel know how to read? I don't know. Where are the bees? If you have some special water called Luminous Water, it seems you can bring Pokemon back from being turned to stone. And you're really not going to believe this. Where you are right now, Revelation Mountain, is apparently where that water is sealed away. Sealed away on Revelation Mountain? Could she mean... Not their water? Is this spring water? I wanted to inform you as soon as we found out. I intend to contact the chief right after this. Well, good luck. Beep boop. A person who will have the power to break the barrier over the spring. Or so they say. Oh yeah! This crisis they mentioned must be turning to stone incidents. And someone must have summoned Neon to save us from it. It must have been someone who knew about the turning to stone crisis long, long ago. This crisis needs a better name. I swear. Well, well, all right. If Neon can break this barrier and we can get some of that water, we might be able to bring back all the Pokemon that turned to stone. Let's do this, Neon. Break the barrier. I don't know how. Is that why I came to this world? I still can't remember anything, so I'm not too sure about this. It does say that a human can break the barrier, but I don't have any idea how I'm supposed to do that. What? You don't know how to break the barrier? If anything, at this point, I would think that Gabriel was the one to break the barrier because, like, he was an orphan left on Caracosta's doorstep with magical scarves t tied to a magical tree that is currently under attack. You'd think that the scarves would then empower him to break it. I don't know. Well, I wonder. Yeah, I can't imagine you would know. Maybe you should just try. You could just try touching it. Hey, you there! Crocodile? Crook, crook, crocodile! Whoa, here he comes! He's getting closer. Stay calm, everybody! But he's gonna turn us to stone! Hmm, what should we do? Stop! It was you! You turned into to stone! H who's there? Raikou. Oh, and Suiku! Who are you, Pokemon? Suicune the Gale. Raikou the Lightning! We have come to avenge Entei! Oh, I did not see this coming. Raikou and Suicune. They're legendary Pokemon just like Entei. They must be after whoever turned Entei to stone. Those two share a connection with Entei. Now hold your pony to that there's our chance, isn't it? Our chance? Oh yeah! You can break the barrier while they're all distracted! I feel like something's gonna happen! Right! And once we have the water, we won't have to worry about being turned to stone! Neon! Huh! <laughs> Just walking past them? Hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> He's saying something. I think I heard him say, This wasn't part of the deal. Or something. If we get turned to stone, we won't be able to come back. We had a deal. Where's the money? A deal? Money? Neon! Get that, that barrier open! Crocodile, you need to use your words! We won't be able to come back if we don't get that spring water! He's right. 
Why do I have such a bad feeling about this? Your opponent is us! Something is wrong. But what is it? Neon! What are you waiting? What are you doing? Hurry! I... something's gonna happen. Well, that's a lot of power. It doesn't seem dark and evil. What's happening? Is it gonna release something? Like an actual spirit? Well, it was just a light show. You did it! There goes the barrier! Turning to stone isn't scary anymore since we have this spring water. You don't scare me anymore, crocodile. Spring water? What are you talking about? I don't care about that. I just want my money. We had a deal. I dropped those warnings just like you asked. I came all the way out here today because you told me to do it too. Right, Nuzleaf? Oh, boy. But how does Nuzleaf... Before the actual explanation happens... I guess that... But Nuzleaf couldn't be the one turning Pokemon to stone. Right? But at the same time, if Nuzleaf knew when to drop the warnings and about the spring water to a degree, that means that he is connected somehow. He could be a minion. Well, great. The first time there's a father figure in this game and he's a bastard. Huh? Nuzleaf? <laughs> I reckon the time has come. I finally done broke the barrier. The barrier over the spring. Now we can become invincible! What the hell do you mean? You done good, Crocodile. I reckon you've earned your reward. Well, shit. What's happening? Well, fuck. So I- how- but how did he fly after Latios and Latias? How did he- well, he said we. Maybe there's multiple. I guess because there are multiple continents. And he showed up at, uh, at the Expedition Society, uh, not too long before Inte got frozen, didn't he? Ah. Crocodile turned to stone! So the culprit behind all these Pokemon being turned to stone? It was me. I'm the one that turned all them Pokemon to stone. Nope, it's just him. So did you just deep sea dive for Waylord? What, what even? Nusleaf did it? Neon, I reckon I feel bad about tricking you this whole time. All of this started when you lost your memory. Are you saying that I came to this world and I had my memories and you took them away? Is that what you're saying? When I lost my memory? So you're to blame for what happened to Intei. We still have to watch out for him turning us to stone. But maybe we can overwhelm him with numbers. Don't just stand there, Gabriel. Do something. Okay. Neon. You're the closest to the spring. The four of us will take on Nuzleaf. Get the spring water while we keep it busy. I don't think that's a good idea. He wanted it to be open. That means something bad. Got it. I will not allow it. Who? Oh, Yvitel! Why? War Death Man? And he's sponsoring this shit? Who are you? I am the one called Yvelta. This is your end. You shall become energy for us. Well, fuck. Ah! Again, why does he want it to be open, the spring? That's odd. What's wrong, Didn't he? I can't seem to get hold of Archon and the others. 
Archon? I was just talking to him a minute ago. Their gadgets should be in working order. I wonder if something happened to them. Flicker, flicker. Behem! Are the Behem the good guys? Why were they trying to punch me? And what's up with them? It's the Guardians of the Ruins. If everybody used their words, things... Oh. Never mind. Everything's going to shit. So there were multiple. Oh, we're gonna leave on a cliffhanger where we're all turned to stone. Oh. I reckon them Behem did their part by now. Well played, Nuzleaf. Luminous water can bring back Pokemon who have been turned to stone. It posed a threat to our ambitions. Then why didn't you just take out the hu- Why did you open it, though? That's the question. All you had to do was confirm that it was still frozen, locked under, and then you've opened it. What? I don't understand. On the other hand, if we just get us some of this water right here, we can be invincible. The time of our reign has come to this world. This planet. This world. I'm going to assume that that's the cliffhanger. Because everybody's dead! I thought the Behem were actually going to be good guys. And they were going to oppose. But no, it's just a whole conspiracy! Ah! How the hell are we going to get back from this? Jirachi, maybe? The scarves? Maybe the scarves. But the tree that was powering the scarves was getting corrupted. Huh. I think something worth noting that it's easy to forget. Nuzleaf is half dark type. Huh. Well then. Just everything happened, but oh, ah, oh, 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 idea. Esper was following us. Esper is going to revive us, and then we can begin our counterattack. But, like, I knew something had to be up with Nuzleaf because he just kept leaving for multiple days at a time. But yeah, Dedene definitely should have stayed back at the guild so that she could have acted as, like, a bridge between, like, both parties. So if one party went down and couldn't answer, they knew something was wrong. Didn't expect Yveltal to show up. Or however you say his name. Yveltal? Didn't expect that. Interesting. I don't think the Nuzleaf reveal is as good as Muna, but it's still very striking twist. I think this one hits a bit harder because we had him longer. Muna was just like, help me. Mem like, same cutscene. Help me, same cutscene. First time we meet her, I'm gonna kill you now. This one, we had him all this time. He was acting like a father figure. He even played the part of, no, you can't leave. The Behem might be a danger. And then played along with everybody else being like, actually, you can go. <laughs> but Yevatel and Nuzleaf are next to the spring. Don't you think they'll try to get rid of the water? Like, maybe, but it's like it's a spring. So I don't know exact. But the at the same time, Nuzleaf said getting the water would make them invincible. So it's possible they might try to cultivate it. They just wanted to make sure they got to it first. And that's why they sent... Well, I guess not sent, but that's why they kind of profited off of Crocodile there. So Crocodile actually had no idea anything about the tablet. He was probably given the tablet by the by uh, Nuzleaf to lead more of the guild the expedition society to the ruins 
So they'd be gotten by the... Behem. But yeah, I think that either Esper will... Because Esper... Like, the camera held on Esper. And Esper followed after us. So Esper has to play a part. <coughs> so... Either Esper is going to get water and free as many as she can, like, before the water. But at the same time, the, the spring can't actually be destroyed because they have to fix everything. Be kind of a dark ending if, like, only... Like, there's no way they'd go through with, like, killing Archon. <laughs> then again, maybe that could be the post-game, trying to find another luminous spring. Hmm. What other ponderings? Still kind of weird that Nuzleaf said I was the one that turned all them Pokemon to stone when obviously there were other actors at play. The Behem, Yevatel. But then again, maybe Yevatel was hiding all this time to stop it. But like, how does he have the power to turn other legendaries to stone? That's my question. I don't know. So I feel like something's deeper. I don't think it's just Yveltel. Because there was the thing like... Turning Pokemon to stone gives them energy or something? I don't know. I do love how this both solves a few mysteries, but then introduces several new ones. Definitely. Like, it solves Crocodile's whole thing on it. He was just a patsy, a middleman. It solves the mystery of, like, Nuzleaf and where he went. It solved why the Behem... Or did it? Hmm. I wonder. Because I guess at the beginning, they, like, when Nuzleaf wanted Gabriel and I to come with him up the mountain, he was, like, checking out how extensive the defenses of Revelation Mountain were. And, like, if we could have gotten through, he would have had us break open the barrier, summon Yevatel, or, like, even just freeze us himself. And I guess, like, after that didn't work, and we went off to the Expedition Society, he might have noticed, but, like, I don't know. I guess Yevatel was the one to fly after Latios and Latias, maybe? Because, again, <laughs> hilarious visual of Nuzly flying through the sky aside. No idea. If it'll be able to turn things to stone is more lore accurate than Kyrim's precognition, that's for sure. Ah, didn't know. <laughs> again, I only played a little bit of X and Y. And I haven't consumed any, like, Yvatel or... Xerneas, I think it's called. I haven't consumed any content with them. Because of Oblivion Wing, it sucks the life out of opposing Pokemon. But then why would the Behem and Nuzleaf team up with him? What do they get out of it? Hmm. And I guess we know why it's called Revelation Mountain 2, because God knows it had revelations. The moment that I knew, I learned that it was called Revelation Mountain, it's like, ah, this is Revelation Mountain. Knew something was going to go down there. But the real question... Hmm. But we still haven't learned, like, uh, why the spring was, fro like, imprisoned in the first place. Then there was, like, the thing Nuzleaf said, it all began when I lost my memory. But what does that mean? There's so many different things that we'll have to wait till next time. <laughs> Here's the better question. Why is the incarnation of death teaming up with fucking Pinocchio? Because Pinocchio wants to be a real boy, and that means copious amounts of murder. This is Pinocchio if Geppetto was a bad father. But just that, yeah. So, let's see. 
Esper is all obviously going to be in play. She probably saw what happened. So either she's going to run back to the village and say what's ha happened, or Esper will save us. We're probably going to have to mount a rescue operation for the prehistoric ruins team. Hmm. The real, real question is, why did the Behem, like, pretend to fight the, like, the ruins team, only to let them go to then transmit, like, of course, like, oh, we translated it, we can turn Pokemon back to normal with the Luminous Spring Water, and that's where you are. I guess to ensure that we open up the barrier, but I don't know, I feel like, I feel like Nuzleaf could have done, like, like, well, obviously, we need that there spring for some kind of crisis, you know, the human that was brought here, open it up. So it was all planned from the very beginning. So I wonder why then Nuzleaf, like, had the varying emotions of, like, Oh, God, what is happening? I'll take you through this dungeon. Ah, uh, why would I get wrapped up in this and then pretend to walk away? I guess to sell the act? Or maybe is Nuzleaf kind of brainwashed? Huh... Because either this was a whole thing from the beginning or Nuzleaf did get brainwashed at some point. Because again, there was the whole bit of him not wanting us to go to the Expedition Society with Gabriel, leave the village. But it could be said that he wanted us to stay to have another go at getting the, like, barrier broken. Like, I don't know. There's still a lot of things going on. But we'll have to wait and see. Like, I don't, I don't know. Everything happened. Everything happened. Obviously, like, unless we, <laughs> like, change protagonists for a bit play as Esper or something. Obviously, we're going to have to get revived soon-ish. And we still have two bosses, but this is entering the end game. But what a way to enter the end game with. But the real, real question is like, Knowing nothing about Yivitel, why does he want to turn all the Pokemon to stone to take their energy? Then again, this is probably a thing that's repeating, because that's why the, like, spring was sealed, and why a thing was made, and that's why there was the ancient tablet. So this happened before, and was reversed... So it was like Yevatel sealed away and then he came back? I don't know. Hmm. Imagine the PMD story one day where you play hero turn Pokemon when you come to save the world from another human turn Pokemon that turned corrupt. That would be interesting. <laughs> kind of like... <laughs> like a twist, almost a twist on Rescue Team. Instead of Gengar being a human, just being a random aside ish it's just like an actual big thing and you could be like mistaken for the human that would actually be interesting mirror match whatever pokemon you choose to be is also the pokemon of the evil corrupt human that'd be interesting Just because he's the incarnation of death going by the lore, but in PMD he's more sentient, so he's most likely has a motivation other than natural instinct. Weird, weird, weird.
But we'll have to see. I wonder if the wi the the Litwicks are gonna come in and save the day a bit. Because they're flying under the radar. They're invisible. Maybe they can save the day. But yeah, everything's going to hell. Yeah. Everybody got turned to stone. I got peer pressured into opening up the gateway. We'll just have to wait and see. Ultimate cliffhanger. With the most basic bitch-like title for the stream, too. Lots of stuff happened. Let's do expeditions. Because I couldn't have predicted this. But I think that will be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Be sure to tune in next time on Monday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, as we find out how the hell we get out of this. Oh, because I'm trying to stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Ba ba ba. Everything that I do otherwise that you might want to follow me for can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings. My edited content YouTube channel, streaming YouTube and Twitch. All of these streams get uploaded to the streaming YouTube channel after the fact. If you want to read stories I've doff written, there's links to that. If you want art like my little character in the corner, there's links to that. And then if you want to throw dollary dues my way, my Patreon is in there as a donation bucket. I'm still just processing everything. <laughs> but that'll be bad, bad. We'll have to see how everything goes next time. I wonder... Because <laughs> I just also remembered something drew Ampharos to Serene Village. Was it the Behem? Was it Nuzleaf? Was it me coming to this world? I do not know. Oh. Everything is going crazy. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Remember, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly, be kind. Stay hydrated. And just thank you for spending your time with me tonight. Was it the spring? Probably not, because the spring's been there this entire time. I got that now. Yeah. And we still don't know why Gabriel can read! Questions upon questions upon questions. Well, good night, everybody.